Hey everyone, just a quick heads up before the episode starts. Uh, the game as we're playing it now is still in beta. We're still developing Thanatos as we go, so that means that the rules um, between different sessions may vary a little, or maybe we're you know using different mechanics to create characters or to handle certain situations. Um, that's because we're still developing it as we go. And in order to make it as as good as possible, we would love to get your feedback. So if you have any feedback on the mechanics, the rules, or uh, the way that we're playing uh, the game, please uh, leave your comments down below because your feedback is very valuable to us. Um, that's it for now. I really hope you enjoy the episode, and thanks for watching. Bye. This series' grand sponsor is Kiro, the world-renowned developers of designer Sextech. Kiro welcomes you to the city of Tachyon and the world of Thanatos. Make love to your LDR lover no matter what distance separates you. Feel your partner's every move with Kiro's interactive pleasure products. Get all of your futuristic pleasure toys at a 15% discount with coupon code KIROTV. Check out Kiro.com if you're interested in making love online. Today's episode is sponsored by our friends at geekgaming.co.uk. Check out Geek Gaming for all of your scenic crafting materials. Discover their insane range of basing materials for your minis and war tables. Base ready kits, flock and scatter, clump and tree foliage, grass tufts and much, much more. If you love to dress up your RPGs and tabletop war games, go check them out. Yeah. Special shout out to Cocoscope and Piper Blush. Thank you for having us on your platform. Make sure to sub and adopt on our channel on cocoscope.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, please hit like. Feel free to comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell button so you get a notification anytime we upload anything new and when new episodes are online. If you like what we're doing and if you want us to do it more often, please share this episode with your friends and gaming communities because together we can make this a wonderful show. Thank you. <laughs> uh, we are here for a brand new episode of Thanatos. I'm really excited for this one. It's, uh, well, to me personally, kind of a special episode. I have a great new table. Um, I'm just going to ask you guys to uh, introduce yourself. Let's start over here. All right. Well, my name is uh, Case, and I'm an entertainer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's it. So. That's it. Uh, I'm Molly. I'm a comedian. Wh where are you from? Um, Manchester. And you? I'm from Amersfoort. It's near Utrecht. Right. <laughs> oh, and I'm Anna. I'm a comedian, and originally from South Wales, uh, near England. <laughs> yeah, we. I, yeah, I, I got that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so none of you have any experience with role-playing games, right? No, I played no. some on the computer, but uh, not like this. Right, right, right. What did, what did you play? Final Fantasy. I was just yeah. gonna say that I love Final right. Fantasy. I had a fan website. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I know. Ooh. Everybody knows Final Fantasy. It's like Fantasy a like so. a GeoCities. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Um, well, you don't need any experience for. Uh, for Thanatos, so uh, we're just gonna dive straight into it. Um, so we've already discussed a little bit what characters you will be playing, and we'll get back to that in a second. But first, I'd like to introduce um, this story to you. So as always, we're playing uh, on, Than on the planet of Thanatos in the city of Tachyon, where the rich lives, the rich live on the rims, and uh, the poor, uh, or more or less everybody else, lives in the center in the slums. Um, but this session we will be, be playing in the Red Ring. And the Red Ring is, um, uh, it's a ring uh, around the entirety of the city and it separates or the, the richer districts or the poorer districts. And it is the largest red light district in the entire known universe. Uh, 
Nice. So, <laughs> so brothels, uh, cyber sex cafes, erotic bars, holographic pleasure domes, cybernetic fetish clubs, and completely hallucinatory sexual experiences. Anything you desire can be found here and is found here on a daily basis. Um, it's the largest driving force for technological advancement in uh, Tachyon. Um, sex, as always, is <laughs> the driving force of any technology in the world. Um, and it's also one of the largest um, uh, uh, financial powerhouses uh, in this entire sector of the universe. And while most uh, districts in the city are always being like fought over these, these huge corporations are sort of battling over the, um, the authority over certain districts, um, the red zone is one of the few exceptions to this um, because the, uh, the, um, the corporations tend to, um, tend to not interfere that much here. Uh, instead, the entire red ring is in the hands of thousands and thousands of small business owners that together make up um, sort of the law uh, here. Uh, well, law is, a, is, a, is an easily used term, but it uh, just means that they sort of uh, dictate what goes and what doesn't. Uh, that doesn't mean that there isn't any violence, though, because there is mm -hmm. this cutthroat competition between all of these different uh, businesses. So that means that anybody who, you know, who works um, in one of these uh, businesses is always you know, watching their backs for knives from their competitors. Um, and you are all in some way connected to one of these, um, to one of these businesses and it's called the Aphrodite's Annex. It's a 20-story a uh, playground with any, for anybody with a little bit of uh, libido to spare. <laughs> and uh, the Annex offers anything from completely virtual and robotic experiences uh, to a simple uh, nice dinner with a glass of jungle wine. Um, and it's a well-respected res establishment because it's one of the older uh, enterprises in the district. Um, it has a uh, sort of unique stat status in that, uh, in that sense. Recently, however, the Annex has been victim of targeted attacks by a new competitor on the block. Uh, her name is Zola Sungate. Mm -hmm. and Zola is the owner of a new um, sort of religious uh, brothel on the block, and it's called the Palace of Purity. And mm -hmm. she seems to have a particular disliking um, for the Annex and its free sex morals. Um, the palace has a, a very simple um, but a very antiquated view, which is that sex should only be had by humans with humans. Um, according to them, clones, cybernetics, and cyborgs should not be allowed to engage in any sexual acts, not even within their own, uh, within their own species. Um, it's a very hateful organization that uh, denounces any non-human races uh, in general. Um, and inside uh, of this palace, uh, humans with the same ideals indulge themselves in uh, same species sex. Um, they're funded by um, unknown wealthy people living on the upper rim. You have all been called into the basement of the annex by the bar's owner, and her name is Nana Mama. She is a 600-year-old android, mm. um, a cybernetic who has run the Annex for the bigger part of its existence. All right, you ready to get into it? Yeah. Yes. So, you are in a dimly lit bar. There are couches around, tables everywhere. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty cozy place. There's a huge bar uh, at the side that sells any kind of liquor you're looking for. It has like it has all of these crazy neon colored drinks. Um, they have drug dispensers that sell anything uh, you're looking for. And this is, um, to you, this is a, a familiar sight. You've all been here before. You've spent countless evenings here drinking with friends, spending your nights. Um, and right, so right now you're surrounded by colleagues and friends. Tell me, what, uh, to quickly, no, not quickly, tell me who you are, who you are playing, and what have you been doing for the last 30 minutes or so in this bar? Let's, uh, who, who wants to go first? Uh, I'll do it. 
so uh, I'm uh, Smiler. I'm a clone cyborg, and uh, I've been um, talking to people, uh, convincing them uh, to have a sexual experience uh, <laughs> in all sorts of ways and all sorts of types that you just mentioned that, that are possible in the Aphrodite's Annex. And um, yeah, whenever they don't uh, feel like I feel like they don't want to do it, then I just give them some happy drugs and they. they <laughs> do it. So tell me a little bit about the backstory of your character. Well, I was created by humans and uh, uh, to serve humans, but uh, yeah, after after a while, I uh, I didn't like that, so uh, I left and I went down to the Aphrodite's Annex and uh, the workers kind of embraced me because uh, I'm a very good worker and I make everybody happy to uh, sometimes uh, irritating <laughs> irritatingly <laughs> but uh, but that's just my my that's how I am I just I'm always happy and I'm always optimistic and I don't understand why anybody would want to be unhappy so right if they're unhappy I just make them happy one way or another and you have a skill right that can artificially make somebody happy right right when I sweat when, like now uh, <laughs> I, I put it in a little uh, syringe and uh, and just uh, hit people with it uh, who I think really need to be more happy and right. I don't understand why people aren't more happy anyway fair I don't either so yeah yeah so yeah you want to know more would I you think like to know more? Uh, always, but I think we have to uh, give your uh, your other players some a little bit okay. more. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. So I'm one seven five. Um, I'm a human. Um, I'm in the bar. I'm a woman. She's got a badass like white platinum bob, mm. scar down her eye, but super hot, like a young like Monica Bellucci. Ah, nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she's like she's like a proper alcoholic, but still looks good, you know, because you know she will. And uh, she's at the bar. She's drinking away a pain because, in her backstory, she um, she came from a wealthy family. She had it all. But she fell in love with a clone. I know. Uh, so her family weren't having it. Um, she got um, she got banished. Um, she lost her name. She got named 175. Scarred on her head. <gasps> Forgot to say that. So Monica Bellucci with 175 <laughs> across her forehead. Still sexy. Yeah. Still yeah. sexy. Yeah. Uh, and um, she's just kind of, she's got a lot of anger in her, um, but she's also, so she's just drinking away her pain and keeping an eye out on everyone else because she will knock anyone out who pisses off her friends. But I do think she needs a happy drug, gonna say. Mm. I might, might be able to help. Yeah, I, f I feel a little, uh, I feel a connection growing. Right, 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 right. And who else do we have? Right, there might not be a connection here. <laughs> <laughs> so, my character, Bonnie Blessed Finger, is like, so is it what a, a name? Oh, yes. It's a cybernetics, like a robot y thing. But imagine. <laughs> If right. you took like a robot and a raccoon and just mix them together. Wow. And he's all like uh, rusty and small and just a bit like a bit like gritty and that. And like mm -hmm. there's no gender with her as well. Mm. So I'm gonna mix raccoon. No it's gender. Raccoon. Yeah. Not yeah. gender my raccoon. Okay. And um, just so, what he's up to, what they're up to, they're at the bar and just talking at the bartender. Right. Like, te giving them advice on technology they don't care about. So what's mm. your, uh, you're a thief, so t tell us a little bit more about that. What, like, about your class? Oh, so it started off as, like, a thief, like, very rugged, like, it's, like, very <laughs> sneaky. That's why I went for the raccoon, they're just very sneaky mm. and, like, getting in all the, like, crevices <laughs> and, like, <laughs> taking things that aren't theirs. But he's, fl they flipped that over. And they're now using all those skills that they got from the sneakiness mm. to be a good guy and help out. So like a hacker sort of thing. Right, mm. right. Like, okay. helping them out. And you're more of a um, punch first, ask questions later kind of gal, I yes, think? Yes, yes. Yeah. So okay. Uh, so then we've got extremely happy guy, puncher, sneaky raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> that is me. <laughs> 
talking to a lot of people in the bar, trying to convince them to have sex with you or to buy no, something no, in the really annex. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, because so you're the sales, the right. sales rep. Right. Okay. Right. You've been drinking by yourself. Mm. You've been talking to the bartender. Yes. What have you been talking about? Just about technology, advice on how they're pouring the pints. <laughs> like, if they put like a little cog here, then it's going to pour better. Ah, it's gonna hold be better. the glass the right way. Exactly. Right, right. So you're like a very obnoxious bar uh, bar patron. Very. Yeah. They, they don't want to listen to me, but I'm going to follow them about. And they're annoying the uh, bar fly. That is me. Mm. Just a little sneaky raccoon. You can't get rid of me. <laughs> <laughs> Just there. Okay. Right. In comes uh, Nana Mama. Um, mm -hmm. So right now in the bar, it's only uh, so it's most not not only it's mostly uh, your colleagues and um, your friends because Nana Mama has gathered everybody here to talk about the, the situation at hand, and she is uh, like I said, she's a old cybernetic. She's about six hundred years old. Um, she moves a little slow, and she like a lot of her parts are old, but it's like in this in this beautiful in this beautiful way. Like she keeps it very well groomed, you know. Like if you see a really beautiful old timer car, you know that yeah. like it's like you know it's old, but it looks so good. Like it it has this very classical feeling to it, and her um, her eyes are huge, and they have these lenses mm. that sort of adjust when they're when mm. she's looking at somebody. Mm. Um, she's always always wearing this bright pink wig. Mm. And uh, she doesn't have legs, but her body, it's like this, uh, she just floats like a little bit off the ground and she just like slowly mm -hmm. floats over the ground. And um, she sits down and everybody immediately goes silent. And she says, uh, well, uh, I'm happy you're all here. Um, I think you all know we've been having some, uh, we've been having some problems with the business. Um, the attacks by the the palace, the palace of purity, it's been um, becoming worse. Starting to break up the business, and you hear this. People are sort of like, "Oh my god, oh my god, that's so bad." Blah, blah, blah. Um, she says, um, "We're putting all of our monies into the repairs, um, fending off the cyber attacks, fixing the building, but we fought well, but we're losing the war." Which is why, and she sort of hangs her head down, and everybody, you can feel like this negative energy going through the room. She hangs her, hangs her head down, and she says, which is why um, we're going to give it one more fucking shot. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. She yeah. says, um, yeah. I've bought this. And she takes out this little pad that shows a holographic image of this huge fucking device. You don't know what it is, but it has like wheels on the side. It's enormous. And she says, "This, my friends, is a atomic is an atomically powered battering ram, mm. and we're going to use this to take down those fuckers at the palace." Yeah, fuck Zola. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> fuck her. Yeah. Um, but and she puts it away. She says, "This thing is enormous, so we are going to need a massive distraction." to drive this down the street to the palace and to break down that force field that surrounds the place. And I figured out how to do it. We mm. are organizing a parade. Mm. <gasps> oh, I nice. love it. Yes. We are protesting the fuck out of these assholes. We're riding this thing down right up under their nose. We're breaking into the place and we're driving them out. But, in order to make this happen, we're going to need a few allies. We're going to need enough people to make a proper parade. So, I have put a lot of thought into this, and I want three people to lead this expedition. First, obviously, Smiler. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> She says that we need someone. We need someone to be the face. Right. We need someone to convince people. We need your positive energy. What do you say? Of course, of course, I'll do it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, next, um, I think uh, it's no surprise if I say that we need one seven five. 
<laughs> we need uh, someone to uh, to pack the punches and to. Well, I mean, I would say this won't get ugly, but it'll get ugly. Say that. <laughs> and then, uh, Bonnie. Uh, Bonnie? <laughs> Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, and everybody around you is like, what? Bonnie? Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> I need someone to take care of the less conspicuous side of things. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> My job. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> what does conspicuous mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, just do do the the thing. You yes. I'm so good at that. <laughs> um, and she looks around and she says to everybody, "I uh, trust that you will all support me in my choice for these three fine people to lead us in this endeavor." The first thing I'm going to ask you to do is to go to two of our rivaling businesses mm. and ask them to join us in this parade. Mm. You are going to have to convince them in any way possible that this will also be good for them. First, I want, you, want to ask you to go to Fata Morgana's favorite machines. Mm. Um, you've all heard of this out of character. You've all heard of um, mm. Fata Morgana's favorite machines before mm. it's run by Fata Morgana. And she is a, um, she is a hologram. Um, and this place serves only uh, mechanical, virtual, uh, electrical, um, um, or holographic experiences. So there's no, no uh, flesh and blood people, no clones, no humans. Um, and everybody that works there is either uh, a robot or some sort of AI. So it's completely technological. And then the second place I want you to go to is the rabbit hole. And you hear a few people Ooh. in the bar that go like, oh my god, you're going to do the rabbit hole. Down the rabbit hole. <laughs> the rabbit hole is one of the craziest places in the entire district. It's often referred to as the maze. Um, and the rabbit hole is like a psychedelic wonderland meant to stimulate all of your senses at the same time. Um, people get lost in this mm. place for days, and, but that's why they come there. It is uh, fucking crazy, and it's run by this sort of, sort of new agey, weird sort of out there dude who was called King Dread. Mm. Okay. She says, "Your wages for this assignment will be tripled this month." Ah, nice. Ooh. But more importantly, you will be eternally in our debt. Which means something coming from a 600-year-old android I mentioned. Right. Now, please, go. Is there anything uh, you want to do before you go on your trip? Hmm. Well, guys, what do you think? <laughs> Is there anything we need to do while we're still here? I was going to feed my robot cat, but it's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's go straight. Let's, we'll figure it What's out. What's the name of your robot cat? Uh, Rusty. It's <laughs> 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 all right. It'll figure something out. Just eat some robot rats on the way. Exactly. Um, all right. You uh, take off to this, um, to the first, um, to the first, a building, or yeah, to um, Fata Morgana's favorite machines. Right. You know, uh, you know where to find it. And you're passing through the the red uh, the red ring. Um, I mean, to you, this is this is daily. Um, this is uh, what you see every day. But it's just brothel after brothel after cyber sex cafe after cyber sex cafe. People in the street are drunk. They're high. But there is this sort of in a weird way, it feels peaceful, and even though it's really rowdy, like because the 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 there is violence and stuff, but it's more controlled, or you know, it's more at small scale. And to you, that is that. I mean, to tack, for Tachyon, that's peaceful, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so there's not these huge corporations constantly oppressing anyone mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get to um, to the building. Um, 
and you're um, instructed at the desk by someone to follow um, the hallway to the end. And the entire inside of this building is holographic. There are no walls. It's in essence just an enormous building with floors and anything else you see is an illusion. But it's a damn good one. So you pass, like one moment you're passing through a room that is a beach with bright green sand and this purple ocean next to it. Next step, your next thing you're stepping into is this cozy small hut. And like you keep just walking through all of these different rooms and sort of becoming a little bit disorientating. And then you finally open up into her office. And there, um, well, she doesn't sit. She's a hologram, but she, mm. there's this platform that she's being projected out of. And she looks like, like this sort of cartoony opera singer. She's known to always take this form. Nobody really knows why, but she, apparently she, re I mean, she can be anything she wants, but she likes, she, she likes this one. And um, she, um, she turns around towards her and she says, well, I uh, wasn't expecting any guests today. What can I do for you? I think this one's on you, Smila. All right. Yeah. Well, Chama. we need to attack the Palace of Purity, Fata Morgana. You know you need this as well. What? Why? Because they are attacking uh, the the annex like all the time. Yes. Well, I understand that, and that's really shitty for the annex. But well, then I don't work at the annex. You probably you probably know that you'll be next if they take over the annex. They'll. Uh, you know you, you you know you want to help us. I, I would I would uh, I think you should. I think you I think if you think long enough about it, you would be convinced that you need to save us and need to help us at least. Well, but, but then what will be in it for me? Hmm? Shift, um, we are a business. Shift is going down. Yeah. You either get a paddle or you don't. That's if you don't do it, I'm gonna knock you out. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but how? I mean, you you can try, but you'll I'm afraid you'll step right through me, love. Yeah. Right, maybe I'll find a way. <laughs> <laughs> maybe this sweat will convince <laughs> you. <laughs> okay, so first give me, uh, take a d12 and roll a, um, uh, a mind uh, roll. So we'll go. this one, right? Yes, and then we're going to see if you can convince her um, that, you know, I think especially the part that you said you'll be next after this, mm. that might be, you know, might be something that she's. Okay, so I'm throwing interested. the dice, right? Yeah, roll the dice. Okay. That's a, that's a nine. That's a nine. Oh. Plus a three. Plus your mind. That's twelve. Twelve. She says, hmm, yes, I was wondering what would happen after. Right. Um, I also think you should be more happy. <laughs> I think you've just told me some pretty disturbing facts there. Right. Smi Smiler, Ramat? Yes. Hmm. Um, d remind me, what is what, what does the, the palace stand for again. The palace is all about trouble. They, are, they, they keep up the appearance as, as though they're happy, but mm -hmm. they're not. They're this crazy <laughs> religious cult that try to push all their rules on others. And right. like I said, they, they will probably try to convince you to throw all your own rules and all, all your own uh, things aside. Right, right, right. And you'll die. Even though you're, they will <laughs> turn you off. They will right. turn you off, and you will be very unhappy. And I wouldn't like that. Do you want to die? No. Well, there we go. Well, uh, I, I, I've, I've haven't, I haven't heard even the, the mention of a plan. Well, we have a plan. We have a plan. We have a, we have a plan, right? One seven five. What's our plan again? We're gonna have a parade. Mm. That seems stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Everyone loves parades. Yes, yes, but They'll never you see don't it know on. what the parade is about. The parade, of the, uh, the the parade is, of course, it's there to make everybody happy. That's the uh, one of <laughs> the most <Yeah>. important thing. <laughs> <laughs> but in the parade, we have like a Trojan horse because Troy. The, the, What's the, Troy? Well. Well, I know this because uh, I'm uh, very, uh, I, I have some uh, very <laughs> crazy encyclopedia in my head. And <laughs> I think that still, that's, people nowadays still know that, that uh, <laughs> like a million and <laughs> 50 million years ago, there was this thing that people entered, uh, entered a castle with a Trojan horse. So mm -hmm. inside the, the parade, there will be a crazy weapon. 
That mm. also seems stupid, but all right. <laughs> okay. Well. So the plan. Once you more. You seem so. very unhappy. I. Uh, Maybe you should tell me about your problems. Oh uh, well, it's my problem is that three people in my office are not making any sense. Mm. Uh, so let me get this straight. We are going to drive. A par we're going to start a parade. Yes. And then we have a big horse. No, no, no. The horse is not there, but the metaphorical horse. Yes. Metaphorical. So we're bringing a metaphorical horse. Yeah. Yes. Right. Okay. <laughs> and then we'll, we will strike on the palace <laughs> and show them what real happiness is. So the metaphorical horse will attack the no, palace. it's actually a weapon. It's, a, <laughs> it's, it's an actual ha weapen. So the, the horse is the parade. You catch right. me? Right, yes. Okay, so the so horse is the parade. So, so there is no horse. So Forget we're, about we're the shaped horse. like a horse. No, there's no horse. No Forget horse. about the horse. There's just right. a parade. Okay. But we, we, <laughs> we do the parade yes. to disguise the fact that we're actually towing this crazy ah. weapon, a crazy weapon there, and we will get rid of the of that crazy religious cult. So I won't die. Right. No horses. No horses. No, not even one. Not even one. Okay, no Wait, horses. They can be horses. Maybe metaphorical horses. I will bring a horse. Okay. So that, okay. That's your own choice. Thank goodness. Um, I have two questions. How? Can I be sure my people will be safe? Well, we, we, we as, a, as a group promise you that we will protect your Fata Morgana forever. And together we stand stronger. And happy. And, mm -hmm. and you will be, I'm assuming, punching people by the looks of you? Yeah, of course. That's, um, that's my thing. Punching people. Right. I'll punch them all. Mm -hmm. She's holding back right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really am. Really if she could punch you, she would punch. You don't want to see that side of me. Right. Right. No, I, I, I guess I don't. Mm. And then? Um, I'm very good at parades, um, so I'd be helping out, you know, scurrying along, but also <laughs> mostly the technical stuff. Mm. So I'll be there sorting out that weapon. Like, right. I, I've done it before. Don't want to get too much into it. But I've <laughs> been there before, made some weapons. We can sort us out. Don't worry. Hmm. Okay, um, both of you, give me um, a mind roll. Oh. And then, mind yeah, mind so roll. take a d12, yeah, and then roll, and then add your mind to it. And then we're gonna take the highest of the both of you, and that will be your roll. Okay. Oh. My eyes burning. Excited. <laughs> oh, no. Eight mm, plus nice. eight plus two ten. Ten. Mm. Oh. What? No. Oh. <laughs> plus two oh, is oh, three. You, 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 you've got a ten. Yeah. She says, uh, and oh. you already uh, you already convinced her a fair bit. She says, very well, but I want assurance that all of my people will be safe. And I want access to any information we find in the palace. Oh, go yeah. on. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it, it, I, maybe if you use it for happy things, <laughs> I'm okay. But you can, you must promise you won't use this against our or any of the other people. This is Aphrodite's annex. We're a uh, a uh, happy community, there's virtually no violence, so if you can uh, accept <laughs> that. <laughs> virtually. <laughs> right? This sounds uh, like a deal. Okay. She stretched out her hand, and you pass right through. She's like, oh, get some oh. every time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Damn. <laughs> all right, so, uh, all right, so uh, Nana Mama told you that the parade will be um, the day after tomorrow. Um, mm -hmm. She says, I will uh, see you then. Yes. Uh, oh. Au revoir! <laughs> and she, um, she shows you the door. So right. anything, do you want to stick around here in the, um, uh, in Fata Morgana's favorite machines, or do you want to keep moving? 
I think we should keep oh, moving. Yeah. Because you can't punch anybody. I can't, uh, <laughs> yeah, I can't yeah. inject nobody. Silla. I mean, me, maybe the raccoon can. Uh, you could go into your own little world. That yeah. like, right, your own little but she can't scratch world. anything. That's the thing, there's nothing to fiddle with because yeah. I keep putting my hand through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just walking through like all these holographic people. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not for bad. us. It's not for us. Out this giant. Yeah. All right. Um, you leave and you know that it's going to be um, like a 30 minute walk to get to, uh, to, mm. to um, the rabbit hole. Um, right. And you're walking for about 30 minutes. And all of you, give me um, another mind roll. All right. A three. That's a six in total. Six. Eleven. Yes. Oh, not not bad. Yeah. Woo. Another yeah. eleven. Oh, nice. A two <laughs> is... Thirteen. <laughs> My mind's yeah. not that bad. So, um... <laughs> At a at a distance, uh, you're like walking through a street, and then you're you like you look to the left, and you see this alleyway, and you can see a few of these um, people. They're wearing these bright white uh, coats, and they're huddled around something. And um, well, thirteen is a is a high mind roll, so you can see what at first seems like they're huddled around something. You can see they're actually uh, kicking two mm. people that are on the floor. Mm. Uh, is there anything you want to do? What, what are, are the people kicking people or are yeah, androids kicking? Uh, you don't know. You can't see mm. because your roll is pretty low. You can mm. move a little bit closer to make to to make out a bit more, but you're gonna have to walk in their in their direction. I'm already going in for the kill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've going got that in. rocket ball. That <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Ready to punch. Okay. Um, uh, as you're coming a bit closer, you can see. Um, that they're uh, three humans, and uh, the white logo of the the white jackets have the logo of a sun with an eye mm. uh, on the back, and you know that this is the the logo of the Palace of Purity. Mm. And they're uh, you can't really see who's uh, who's on the floor, but you hear them yelling like, "That's what you get, you filthy scum!" And they're just like relentlessly kicking these two figures um, mm. lying on the floor. What do you want to do? They're like clones, because they, I can tell, and I've got a past. Mm. A the people on the floor? Yeah, I reckon the clones, and that's that's enough. You 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 could assume they're clones, but you don't know. No, but I'm already I'm going. In your head, they are. And the people yeah. from uh, from uh, the Palace of Purity who are who are kicking are these? They're humans. Human. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh. Well. I want to use my invisibility module. Go for it. Scuttle in there and just confuse the shit out of them. Just start like beating people out like, what's happening? Ooh. There's nothing there. Okay. Right. So give me uh, in a little bit more detail. So I use my invisibility module and then because I'm a small little raccoon robot thing, I just scuttle through the legs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, you know, they're busy just kicking up right there. Okay, give me a nimbleness check. Let's see if you can like easily make your way through their legs and sort of... Because how, how big are you? You're like, you're like this big? <gasps> Two uses. Yeah, but it's ah, not. You're but really I think tiny. this will be a great tactic. You first confuse them and then uh, one, five, sh seven, five is going to punch the shit out of them. Yeah, with a little look and just sneak attack. Yeah, I'm going yeah. for that rocket ball bat. Yeah. I've got that with me. Cool. All right, so. All right. Okay, so roll me a nimbleness check first. Five, add four, nine. Nine. Okay, mm. you managed to... Um, pass through like the legs of two of them what do you want to do how are you confusing them just like nipping at their legs like, okay and scratching their balls man. yeah just slapping them yeah <laughs> so just yeah. like falling all over the place yeah right. Right. tie the shoelaces together yeah just the most cheap okay the um they don't know what's going on like they're sort of like they're starting to uh, like stumble a little bit and they're sort of like you know, swatting their, their arms down, Good. and you can hear them yell like, what the fuck is going on? Um, but then the third, he sort of like, he sees you sort of like, you know, or he, do he doesn't see you, but he sees them like stepping around and he can see like something's going on here. Uh, so he sort of like starts swatting in your direction. Uh, so we are all going to roll an aggression roll. And with this, we're going to determine, because we're going into combat now, we're going to mm -hmm. determine who gets to go first. 
Um, so we're determining the order. So every one of you, give me a d12 and add your Thanatos to it. Uh, that's, that's, that's again the same one, yeah, right? Yeah, 12 is 8. 8 and 3 is 11. Right. What am I adding to Yeah, that? Uh, Thanatos. Right. Okay. Oh, 2 and 4. 4? Six. Yeah. 6 in total? A ten. Oh, ten. A two. What a thought. Come on. Oh, feisty. So it's yeah. a ten adding tw <laughs> adding two? Yeah. yeah. Twelve. You're going to bite your own wall there. Oh, well. No one fights more. Close. Oh, that's great. You just throw a two and oh, a one. Oh, and a one. Ah. Yes. Oh and my three. god! Yes! <laughs> one, two, three. We killed, yeah. we killed all right, them all. Alright, alright. I hope they're all dead. Uh, <laughs> no, so this is only the order of uh, oh, combat okay. yet. Oh, okay. Oh. So, but, you know, you might kill them. You don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's in the waters. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would yeah. make me happy if they were dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Alright, so that means that, Bonnie, you are up first. <gasps> okay. Right. So okay. now you have um, you are in your turn. You are allowed to move once and attack or like do an action once. So you have your skills and your attacks here. So what do you want to do? It might be a good idea for you to like already think a little bit about you know what's your move going to be. Next action. Yeah. yeah. I just dribbled a bit. Oh yeah. I'm sorry, beer. I'm excited. <laughs> yes, have some. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Ready for the big fight. Right. Ah, okay, let's nice. do it. <laughs> What's your move? I'm gonna go right. So I've already gone in with invisibility. Yes. Talk, haven't I? Right. And they're now sort of just figuring out that you're here somewhere, but you still have like there's an advantage to to you still being invisible. Sorted. And do I have to use these items, or can I just? You can like you like these. This is what you have. You can't make up any new items, but you can like if you want to do something without these items. Of course, that's up to you. Okay. So I bite and I cling on. Right. To the one who's noticed me. Right. Um, before they can swap me too hard. Um, sort of trying to get that one away from the pack. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's roll. Um, we're gonna roll first. Let's see if you hit him. So roll a d12 and add your power to it to see if you can like latch on your um, your yeah, your fangs into him. Keeping all a hundred toes and fingers crossed. Oh no! Oh, that's a one. A one. So a one. Um, a that's called a, a wreck. So that means that something something bad is happening. Like a twelve. Uh, twelve is an overload. That means that you do something really well, but a mm. one always means like bad news. Oh no. So you snap at him and he sort of like he he notices you you clenching to his to his um what do you call it your his ankle and sort of shakes you off and by shaking you off he sort of throws you against the wall of the um uh, of the um, the alleyway and he smashes the the invisibility module that is currently keeping you invisible and, like sh the invisibility shakes off of you. Oh no. shit. I'm pissed now. Yeah, Whoa. me too. Uh that's uh that's good though, because Smiler, you're up. Well, I of course grab my switchblade mm -hmm. and get at the guy who's uh, noticed, uh, my little, little raccoon friend. Right. Thank and you. I just start stabbing him like, uh, you should be more happy! <laughs> <laughs> lips, All right, start right. stabbing him. So yeah. give me a D, uh, D12 yeah. and add a, uh, let's make this, this is a nimbleness. No, wait, oh. sorry, make it a power. Okay, yeah. here we go. It's mm. a three, and I have a five power yeah. in total. That won't do. Uh. So you like you walk up to him, but he's still like shaking off, you know, you, and he's sort of like the moment in that he shakes no. you off, you sort of like come in with the blade, yeah. and he like just like dodges uh. it. And now, um, now everybody's like, you know, all of all of these humans, they they're fully aware of the situation, and um, they step no. away. You can see now that the, that the couple, um, it's uh, a couple, it's a it's a clone and uh, a cybernetic, mm. and they're sort of on the floor, like fetal position, sort of mm. trying to protect themselves. And uh, these guys, they're just like they look up at you and they're like, "So you're next, huh?" <laughs> oh no. Oh. Um, one seven five. What do you do? Well, I'm really pissed now. Right. I'm messing with my two cronies, not having it. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna just use my rocket ball bat. 
Right. But I'm gonna. There's only one guy. I'm gonna go that that little fucker, the main one. I'm gonna go for him, and I'm just gonna whack it in the balls. <laughs> go for it. Yeah. So uh, roll a d12, and then add your power. As in, Thanatos. No, your power uh, statistic. Oh, uh, no. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's fine. Oh, what seven. Is it? Oh, that's seven. okay. Seven yeah. and four. Yeah. Seven. That's that, good. That's yes. definitely a hit. Okay, so now you're going to roll. I'm a fighter. Yes. Best to last. Now yeah. you're going to roll your damage. So behind the, the, the rockable, it says, I think, 1d8, 1d6. Oh, the rockable bat, sorry. Uh, 1d. 1d8. 1d8. Okay, so DMG. the 8 is this one. I think you have one of those as well? Yeah. This one? No, the, no, the diamond kind of one. Yeah, that yeah. one, the two uh, pyramids. Yep, and then roll this, and then we're going to see how much damage you do. Do I need to add this to anything? No, that's just that's straight good. up damage. Oh. That's a four. Oh. All right, so Don't you... Know. Yeah. Four damage. You won't, mm. So give me a description of how you whack this guy in the face. <laughs> in the balls, he was going to do. In the balls, sorry. Yeah. In the balls. Um. Be very graphic. Yeah. <laughs> Which one? I think I'm gonna just grab his penis uh, I know, I know. and then just go under <laughs> and also get the penis too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it so hard it all just falls off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. It's totally gone. Okay, all right. Yeah, he uh, he screams in agony um, and he's sort of like falls to the floor, but then gets back up and you're holding his. Is it falling off still? Uh. Is, is, did have you? you did one? you rip off the thing? Yes. Yes. Um, we're gonna roll one more uh, power power uh, roll for that, just to see if that works, because that's okay. an extra D12, gruesome right? move. Yes. Right. No. No. Sorry. Uh, just give me a, a d12 and add your power. All right. Okay. That one. Then I'm gonna check what his. Six uh, four ten. Ooh. No, you don't manage to rip it off. Sorry. Oh no. He has a. Uh, it's. Uh, he has a very tough dick. <laughs> oh my god, that's all I can, that's all I can say. So it probably won't work anymore. But you've like you've given him a, a good whack and you see him sort of like he, he goes yeah. like he falls to the ground, gets back up, but you can see like he's not in uh, as good a state as he was before. Uh, you feel like uh, it w wouldn't take a whole lot more to take him down. Mm. Um, then it's uh, it's actually his turn and uh, he's gonna like he gets up and he grabs this sort of baton he has and he's trying to whack you back with it. Oof. Oh, That's pretty no. good. That's a 12. No. <laughs> um, so that means he gets to do extra damage. Oh, yeah, that's I'm going. You yeah. did try and rip his balls off. <laughs> uh, that wasn't too bad, actually. He does, he, he does six uh, damage to your libido. So, mm. like, he gets up, and he's sort of getting up, and you can't really see what he's doing, and he just grabs the baton, and he whacks it upwards, to, like, against your chin, and you just mm. sort of like, go flying back. Mm -hmm. So you have to subtract six from your libido now. Oh, that's annoying. Nine, it'll be now. Mm. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, 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 no. You, like, you, you, can, you can heal yourself It's uh, like at oh, a later okay. point. Good. Right. Um, then um, the other two uh, humans are going to go at it. Stop throwing okay. these high numbers, man. I know. It happens, it happens. It's rigged. Yeah. Um, the first one is going to try to hit you, um, Bonnie, because you were <gasps> snapping you at their out? ankles. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? Um, and, oh, that, that was the first one, so that's a hit. and That's four, uh, four damage to your libido. Oh. So you can write it up there. It was nine. It's now five. Five. That's right. Then uh, the third one tries to uh, whack you, but misses. Yes. Yeah. So he's like uh, he runs right. up to you and sort of like trying to whack you, but I guess your crazy smile throws him off, and he's sort of right. like, "What am I running at?" And just. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Okay. I, I, I also have a very unassuming look. We didn't talk about it, but I look like a like a bear s skeleton, cyborg skeleton. So. Whoa. That's a why bear and a skeleton. No, 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 not a bear. <laughs> Just a bear skeleton. Oh. <laughs> but you're right. Inside the skeleton is a bear-like skeleton. Right, okay. Oh, is it hairy? Yeah, the, <laughs> but you don't see it because it's inside. It does look, I look naked. Like metaphorical hair. But we yeah. know there's a bear inside there right. and that's enough for me. Right, mm. that's, that's it. Mm. Okay, Bonnie, you're up next. What do you do? Okay, so we're in an alley, aren't we? So I'd scurry up the wall. 
Right. Because I'm like a little robot thing. Right. And because I'm so used to like fixing things and everything, I've got these little like screws. Okay, give me a uh, give me a nimbleness roll to see if you can climb up the wall. Right, twelve, wasn't it? D twelve. Yes. Oh, oh yes, a twelve. <laughs> so that's nimbus. called an overload. So you like you shoot up the wall <laughs> like it's <laughs> nobody's, nobody's business. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, and then, I sp- oh, so I've got. Hmm. You should throw another weapon at them or something. Shall I throw a weapon? Okay, it was not so possible. That you, yeah, of course. Like this is your so this is your weapon. And these are the items you have. So get, you can do anything you want. I can shoot down at them with the like. Is yeah. the gun attached to it? I've got a yeah. The, the the gun the gun is attached to the drone. Okay. What was oh, I doing? Little mate. Yeah. Me little like, drone mate. Right. <sighs> Well, I don't know why I've been holding him back for so long. <laughs> He's just wandered off. <laughs> 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 I've climbed up, wolf whistled him over, mm. got him back. He comes like uh, flying up. Yeah, yeah. Like, what's it going appears. on? <laughs> don't leave me. Put a leash on it. <laughs> <laughs> Stay. Huh? And then got him to shoot down. Okay, go, so are you shooting the, the same guy um, that you've been hitting as well, probably, right? Ooh. Or you want to shoot somebody Is he weak somebody? gun? Yes. Mm. Then I'm gonna go for one of the other guys All right. before they pounce. Well, I, I mean, he's weakened in the sense like his lib- like you can see you've definitely damaged him, but how he's still he's, he's, he's still dangerous. He's mm. still da- oh, then yeah. I'm gonna go for him. Do mm. we know how low all the right. are right now? Right. No, you you like. Don't really know. I, well, I, I'm not giving you the numbers. Oh, like, okay. I'll, I'll give you a description of what they look like. Mm, okay. So this guy looks pretty beaten up. All yeah. right. Okay. All right. Right. Yeah. Shoot him in the dick. Shoot. Yeah. What is it with with the dick? He must. He's he's trying to prevent these two beautiful creatures to have sex, so he shouldn't shouldn't be able to have sex anymore. Oh, that is okay. Yes, Let's go. Fine. Let's do it. So roll. Um, you're going to roll a uh, nimbleness for this. Eight. Ooh, that's pretty good. Plus four twelve. Yeah. All right. That does it. So nimble, roll the damage. Nimble. The one d four is the little pyramid thing. This one. Yes. Oh. That's a two. You kill him. Yeah. Yes! Yay! He's dead. <laughs> so, but uh, is his dick still attached? Is the, is the biggest question. <laughs> you know what? It rips right yeah. off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Put up a fight. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, man. Yeah. So, oh, this is so gruesome. Like, yeah. first you see this person tugging at his dick and whacking him with a bat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then this little <laughs> droid comes, like, zooming in on his penis and he's like, just yeah. drills his dick right off. Uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, he just, like, he drops dead. All of this blood is, like, gushing out of his crotch. Yeah. Um, and uh, you see the the other guys are like, what? <laughs> and one of them just like, he immediately hightails it. He's like, okay, uh, right. I don't get paid enough for this, see ya. And he just like, he bolts down the alleyway. Great. The other one is still here and he's like, so maybe, I don't know, more like, or maybe he's angrier, or, but at least he's, he's definitely looking forward to punching some more people, uh, if you're up for it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, so then, Smiler. I'm going at him again with my switchblade. Go for it. I can't. Uh, I can't be more unlucky than last time. So, uh, so first uh, D12. Right? First D12 to see if you hit him. Oh. Yeah, with power. That's it. Ten. Yeah. That's okay. A hit. Oh. And then I uh, do the dam- The damage. Yes. One? Then the damage. All right. That's a one D4 with the switchblade. This is the four, right? This is the four. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Let's kill this bastard. Oh. Four. <gasps> Not yes. bad. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> So give me a description. He doesn't I, die, but he's like, I like, uh, I like, get at him and punch his eyes out, and just stick <laughs> d- d- two swift, swift moves. He's blind now. Okay, give me, uh, give me another, give me another roll for that, because like to hit his eyes, it's a very, it's a very difficult, yeah. like specific move. I'll do it. So give me a d12. And make it a nimbleness check to see if you can like exactly. Of course, I will be able to do this. This is a nine plus a nine plus two eleven. Yeah, all right, you get him. You get him in the eye. Yeah. Yeah. So they are like. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they're out of there. Yeah, they pop I don't out. know if I really. I think I just destroyed the inside the socket. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and then I tell him, you shouldn't prevent these people from having happy sex. He says, you shouldn't stab my eyes out! <laughs> <laughs> um, he, um, 
like he, he falls to the ground and he's like blinded and he's yeah. just like standing up and sort of like he's like waving his arms around. He's not any threat to you anymore. Right, um, right. I, I have something to tell him uh, still. Go yeah. back to Zola. Where? <laughs> yeah. How? Use the use the use somebody. Find some of your friends, probably <laughs> go down the alley, mm -hmm. and uh, and tell them uh, tell Zola she's finished. He says, yeah. "Fuck you! I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to die here." <laughs> Yeah, so he, he like moves away, but you see like this blood is dripping from his face. Right, right. right. Um, Perfect. So you're out of combat. Well done, uh, guys. Well, 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 well done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And what uh, do we do? What do we do with the two so, people? So they get up and they're like, they're all like, they're battered and bruised, and they're like, oh my god, thank you, thank you so much. I thought, I thought we were gonna, we thought we were gonna die here. Is there, is there anything we can do to, to repay you or? Just have happy sex. Yeah, we just yeah. let him let him do the thing. Yeah, no. maybe join the parade. Yeah. What parade? Yeah. Well, we have this parade. There's a chance you'll die. <laughs> but, uh, but uh, well, it's because we helped you, I think you owe us. So. Uh, For, uh, uh, oh, you? Oh, well, I. Yeah, I, I guess they they're looking at each other like I guess so. Yeah. Uh, the parade. Uh, when? Well, we'll be Did in contact. The, okay, the day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want them, but they're they're to be trusted, right? I, they, 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 uh, yeah, I like them. Give me. Yeah, right. They're not. I like I'm them. not expecting them to tell. You can uh, give me a give me a mind roll to see if you can like see if you can like figure out their intentions or you know. Mm. You can give me a roll for that if you want. No, I don't. Well, I think we'll just take the chance, right? Okay. Yeah, that's a, we that's just trust them. Yeah. We just save them from the people. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. They, uh, they, they walk off and they're sort of like holding each other and uh, yeah. they turn around one last time they say, Th Thank you. I really thought this was the end. We'll definitely be there. Day after tomorrow we'll be partying our asses off. Yeah, Aww. that's okay. All right, uh, bye. Yeah. And they, 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 they walk away. Um, so how do, you, how, do your, how do your characters feel about what just happened? I think we did a good deed. Yeah, me and the drone are crying. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just very emotional. <laughs> I think I'm just still a bit depressed. I'm never really that happy because my heart is broken. Oh. You know, I'm just kind of like. So anything like how? It's brought flashbacks. Right. Was it yeah. specifically like, because mm. you you used to love right. a clone yourself? Was this difficult to see? It was very difficult. Yeah, I'm at. Yeah, I've, I've, at the end of that fight, I kind of took a step back anyway. Couldn't deal. Right. Couldn't, I couldn't watch it. Um, right. So how, like... Now I'm trying, maybe I'm starting to show a bit of emotion. What are your... Which has not really come out yet. Mm. Soft as size, you know, which is quite... Maybe this is going to bring us closer together. Because you see the soft side. Maybe. I do feel a strong connection now between oh, yeah. the three of us. One <laughs> <laughs> Black mascara running yeah. down. Yeah. 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 And I'm not even looking at the both of you. I'm just uh, watching, having a blank, smiling stare mm. at the <laughs> wall. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't bring it up because you know you're going to get your teeth knocked out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right, <laughs> okay. But we all feel it. <laughs> all right. Right. Um, so I guess you move on to uh, the rabbit hole? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'll go yeah. I'm excited. Yes. Um, you have been told by uh, Nana Mama that um, King Dread is a very odd guy. He doesn't care about money. He doesn't care about earthly belongings. He just cares about like love, peace. He's a very sort of Zen type of guy, mm -hmm. but then also a complete weirdo. And uh, when you when you walk up to the rabbit hole, like from the outside, it seems this pretty unassuming building. Like it's this this pretty this pretty simple uh, sort of warehouse kind of place. Uh, but as soon as you like step one foot inside, you immediately get what everybody's talking about. Like music is blaring. There's lights everywhere, mm. and uh, there's this sort of there's sort of like this um, this guy at the entrance, and um, he's like, uh, you want to go in? You going for it? Yes. Mm -hmm. We yeah. are. Yes. You're going to love it here. Yeah. All the happiness. Oh. I hope you have a few days off, though. 
Yeah, you know, like we've been we've been cranking it extra we need hard to get lately. In and out. Mm. Like, in and out. We need to get right in and right out. Doing we what? can't be wasting. We all want this time, to talk yeah? to uh, King Dread. Ah. Uh, oh well, yeah. Everybody does. Right. Um. Yeah, you're just gonna just gonna go have have to look for him. Okay. Oh. So, uh, can you give us any direct happy directions? No. Hmm. No. Happy but direction. You seem kind of happy. Yeah, that yeah. That I like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you seem pretty happy guys. Mm, I think we'll manage right. then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is everybody so as, as happy as you are on no. the side? No, 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 no. Mm. no. Oh. Okay. Are there, is there any, any danger inside? That depends on uh, what you think of as danger. But I'm going to say yes. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Mm. I well. should have fed my cat. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, we've, got, uh, we've got food inside, if you can find it. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> Stop so being all We're gonna be alright. Alright, let's be having it. Let's do it. He uh he like he opens up this door, he's like, have fun. Mm -hmm. And uh he lets you in and he closes the door and um you are immediately completely disorientated. This like the inside of this club is insane. It's got like cave like structures running through this building that you like you would never have thought that would be on the inside when you see the outside mm. and uh, there is like gravity plating that changes the gravity in this building uh differing from room to room so at some mm. point like you're crawling through this little um this sort of little cavern and then when you look up all of a sudden you see this huge dance floor on the ceiling above you with people dancing and you don't know how to get there but people are partying there then on the right wall is a bar mm. which you can sort of walk up on and then the, the gravity changes and every few minutes the entire configuration of the building seems to change so you can never like backtrack anywhere because the sort of like the room seem to be shifting all the time mm. it is a fucking it is like it it's one of the craziest experiences you've ever had Damn. um what are you like? How do you? How do your characters carry themselves here? What are they doing? Are they enjoying this? Are they hating it? Give me a little flavor. I'm enjoying it. Smiler's enjoying it because everybody's happy. They do seem kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> I think they had a little bit too much of happy drugs, but um, I like it. <laughs> I think at first he tasted it because not got much balance and things, just mm. scuttling about. <laughs> But then, could possibly like just stand in the drone and we together, sort of like mm. scuttle about. Like, mm. do you think? Just Is it like down. dancing? Oh. No, well, ish. I mean, <laughs> if, if there's music. Yeah. <laughs> but just hold it, like, either sit in, sort of holding on to the drone. Okay, don't, so then the they never fall down. Yeah. yeah. No. Oh, that's nice, actually. Like, no. a, you know, like a boy in the ocean. That's pretty mm. smart. Exactly. Nice. I'm not struggling at all. Mm. I'm getting right through there and I'm pulling you too. Because right. it's so distracting. Oh, so right. It's like, like we need to get So on. give me a... Give me a um, that's interesting. First, all of you give me a mind roll. Let's see how how confused again, you get. Right? No, just D12. Yeah. Four. Plus? Uh, three is seven. Okay. Seven plus two. Right. Nine. Nine plus two, eleven. Okay, so uh, maybe it's because you're on the drone. Uh, oh wait, actually, you can roll with favor because it, because you're on the drone. Like you're not affected by the gravity as much. So give me another roll, and then of the two, you can grab the highest one. So favor, you can roll with favor if your circumstances are favorable. Mm, all and, right. Um, oh, okay. And if your circumstances are unfavorable, you get to roll two and then have to take the lowest. Mm. Oh, nice. Roll again. Oh. oh. <gasps> That's a one. Well, you had the you had the, the higher the higher roll before. So you're actually the only one who can really make sense of this place. Um, at some point, you're sort of like, element. yeah, you're you're you're, you're seeing a structure a little bit. You're sort of starting to understand what's going on, and at some point, like you you see this this part of the wall changing, but it's also like a bit of a bit that you've already seen before. So you're slowly starting to figure out a few things. You have no clue what's going on. You're just happy, but you're like bumping into walls and just. <laughs> <laughs> And for you, um, like it's difficult for you to, to figure out what's going on, but you're like powering through just mm. by sheer force. You're just yeah. like whacking open doors, just sort of like kicking in shit, and you're you're getting there. Yeah. 
Um, give me... No, wait, I'm going to roll for this. Ooh, okay. Um, it doesn't take you um, very long to get 100% lost in this building. Even for you, it's, it's mm. impossible to, to figure out where you're going. Like, you manage to backtrack a few rooms and stuff, but you're not getting anywhere because there's not really a destination. There's not really anything linear to this building. And at some point, um, you're in this room uh, at a bar. Um, maybe you're discussing, like, uh, what your next move is. And behind you, you suddenly hear a voice, and he's like, uh, So you're having a good time? <laughs> Guys? I thought, Who? hello, it's me. Who is this? Yes. Yes, we're having a great time. You, you turn around, and it's this guy. He's like this very lean dude. He doesn't have, um, or maybe he has eyes, but you can't see it. But he has this sort of LED display where mm. his uh, eyes should be mm. uh, that right now are displaying two LED eyes. Right. Mm. Um, and he has these long dreads hanging um, uh, like beside his face. And he's like this really slow dude. He's like, I heard you were uh, like looking for me or something. Mm. King Dread. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's me. <laughs> well. Where Wait, we what, what were we talking about? <laughs> uh, well, we want your help. Can you help us, please? All right. Okay. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> he starts, like, walking off. No, no, no. We, we grab him. Wait, Let's grab him, guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, who's trap? Can you use? Yeah, oh. who's trap him? Go for it. So I ooze trap you really? to stop yeah. your feet. Maybe. So what does your ooze trap look like? How does this work? Oh, so it's like, <laughs> like a green slime. Um, but it's all like pixelated and shit because robot. Mm. Um, mm. But it's like a green slime and just holds onto your feet. Yeah. You can't it, get out. Do you like throw a, a thing on him or? It drops out of the drone. Ah, okay. Oh, wow. Nice. Like, uh, like slime. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> slime him. Inside my brain you are. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, give me a nimbleness roll for this and uh, make it a favor favored roll. So uh, roll twice, grab the highest one. Oh, thinking nipple thoughts. Yes, ten. ten. Ooh, not bad. Seven. Okay, so 10 plus nimbleness. Four. 14. Lovely. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, he's like, uh, okay, bye. And he just like walks off and he immediately gets drenched in this. Ah. In this, what color are we talking? Green. Green. Green sticky goo. And he just stops talking. He's like, righteous. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, what's going on again? Where are you? Well, we're from the, the Apex. What are we? What is it called again? The Annex. The Annex. Annex. And uh, yes, we want your help. We need all of your friends, everybody in this building, right. need to join us in the parade. You like parades, right? Fuck yeah, dude! All right, will you be able to remember this? What? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn, how do we do this, guys? Can, we, can, can I just uh, maybe create a memory module in your mind? Ooh, um, no, mm. but, no, you can't do that, but if you, you know, maybe try to make this very memorable. Oh. Mm. Punch him. Yeah. Don't punch him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rip off his dick. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he will forget that. Wake up in the morning like, what? <laughs> what? Oh, shit, oh, yeah. Welcome to the sex-positive role-playing oh, yeah. game, Matthew. Right. I reckon I said... I should seduce him. Oh, oh. yes, you should. Okay. Oh. Yes. What, what are you doing? Um. Right. So obviously my character's hot, isn't she? So she uh, she uh, lifts her skirt up a bit, shows a bit of a uh, bit of thigh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she's got like a suspender belt on mm. with like a fucking rocket ball bat on it. Yeah, <laughs> yes. that's hot. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Um. I think that's all I do just for that moment. Okay, I give me, a, give me no. a, a mind roll and uh, do it with favor because he's got nowhere else to look because he's stuck in green goo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, look at this right yeah. now. Seven. Seven? So add um, seven add two. Wait, maybe not a mind roll for this because no. you're like showing off your physique, right? Yes. Okay, let's make it a power then. 
Okay, seven of four, eleven. Right. And then, yeah. Do I use... No, uh, you no, get to roll with favor, so yeah, grab the highest one. That's Three. right. Okay, seven and four is eleven. Yep. Um... <laughs> okay, <laughs> you got him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, do you have to do much? He's, uh... <laughs> It seems like like there's a little bit of a light switching on in his brain. Mm -hmm. He's like, "What did you throw? What number did you throw?" I'm not saying. Okay, secret. But it was a one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't want to out yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's uh, he, like, you see, it seems like there's a little bit of a like, right. switch, and he's like, "Wow, uh, uh, you look uh, <laughs> hi." The names, and he's sort of like trying to shake your hand. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm uh, I'm Dread. They call me uh, Dread. And you are? 175. I keep quiet. Nice. I, keep it, I, keep, I keep it sort of, you know. Um, and then I'm going to explain to him slowly and sensually how we're going to do this. And it's all going to go in his head. Okay. And what do you say? Well, what do we what do we want to use him for exactly? We want his help for the parade. Mm. But he's so, obviously not very so, helpful. So the, the, the mission is you want uh, you need their people because you need a lot of people in order to create a parade so we that's need his big people, enough. Not him because he's not really that. No, but he's fun. like but he's the head of this this uh, this business. So without him, nobody goes. Yeah, like, he's we'll their just boss. put him in the back of the parade, but his people will be uh, we just need him. doing something. Um, I guess I'll just say that I need him, all his cronies to come. With us the day after tomorrow, right? And do a parade. Um, I wouldn't even explain why, because I don't trust him. Okay. Mm. Um, Call it a day. Right, well, you know, I love a good parade. Obviously, I'm just like worried about how good will this be? Because we got a we got a name. You know, we we only do the like the best parties. Just like it's got to be the cream of the crop. You know. How do I know this will be the best party ever? Well, we are going to kill some people in the end. I thought you were going to say we're going to Ibiza. <laughs> <laughs> we're, and we're going to and after that we're going to Ibiza. <laughs> and, and, and eat some pizzas. Yes. Ibiza doesn't exist. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. Sorry. You were going to say yes. That'll probably you love this, right? When we you do you like killing people? What? No, bro. Why not? Well, killing people is the worst. Oh, we're not killing people. We're, we're, we're killing people at this parade. What kind um, of parade are we talking well, about? Metaphorically, metaphorically, metaphorically we, we kill killing the party. You know, we killing like it. Completely, it's cutting my vibe. Like, oh, well, you're uh, you're harshing my buzz right now, uh, bro. Oh, uh, killing people. Killing them with kindness. No, yes. With kindness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Love that though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. I feel like I should keep my mouth shut right now. Yeah, I like <laughs> listening to the hot lady. Right, you should, I think you should yeah. like talk yeah. about... Are you convinced yet you're going to the party? Well, if it's a right. good it's fucking parade... Good time, yeah. I'm gonna be there. She will show you will. Yeah. her legs yeah. some more. I'll undo a button now. Mm. You're gonna be... So... Will you be dancing? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a so good dancer. You are? Yeah. Okay, give me a mind. Let's see if you, are you are you actually a good dancer or are you no. lying? No, I'm not. I don't Her? dance. Yeah, okay, okay. As if she dances. Yeah. So give, give me a mind roll. Let's see if you can uh, if you can uh, persuade him and do it. Yeah, this is a lot of favorite rolls, but this is another favorite roll because you're already he's he's enticed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. With mind. Mind. Uh, five. Yeah, you got favorite, so you can roll another one. Grab the highest one. Four. Ooh. Seven. Four, uh, two. Uh, six, seven. He, he says... No, I'm six. Not, yeah, six. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, uh, you don't seem like the type. Can you maybe show me a little bit? Uh, I, just to be sure, you know, I don't want to... Oh, no. I don't want to impose, but I would just really enjoy watching you dance right now. Right, fine, yeah. right, right, fine. No, because she's going to do it that bad. She won't be able to dance. You're going to give it a shot anyway? The problem is you're already happy, so I, I don't have any use for my uh, happy doses, right? No. Like, he's no, already happy. No, you can't use that, no. Huh? He's already happy. Well, I mean, he, I mean he, he's yeah. already... But, I mean, like, the, hap like, the happy drug is, like, uh, it makes you very susceptible, obviously. Okay, then I hate thing. you with the, with the drug. 
He's only been quite aware. Yeah. Uh, well, it means he's very open to ideas and stuff. I mean, okay. when you're when you're yeah. in, yeah. So it's like so it's, look at the hot lady it's again. It's like like just really really, really good ecstasy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So you you inject him with it, and he's yeah. like. Would you maybe dance for <laughs> and like, his, his, like his his LED pupils go and completely she do, she bright? She just and do, does like this, and <laughs> it looks amazing. Yeah. 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 Like the, the screen goes and like first it's like brighter, 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 and then it just like shuts down. You know this this image that they oh, yeah. that they have on TV when there's no show on and they have technical difficulties. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> like his screen just sort of like it That's breaks nice. down. It's like a blue screen of death kind of thing. Right. And he's sort of like rebooting. Uh, so you do a little dance. Yeah, like, okay. <laughs> that's all we're doing. Oh, good. Yeah. He, miserable. So he's looking at you and he's like, You're the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm going to marry you. And I'm bringing all of my people to, do, to the parade the day after tomorrow. Woo. Now, please let me go out of this mess because I really want to masturbate. Uh. <laughs> please. Well, then have this uh, a flashlight uh, also, <laughs> complimentary of Kilo. <laughs> Just stick it in yeah. there. Yeah. Um, are, you, uh, are you letting him go out of the goop? Go on then, he's on our side. He's like, oh, is he still all covered in goop? Yeah! Oh. No, it is pixelated, so it just disappears. Yeah. <laughs> it just, it just, just so sucks it back into the drain. Yeah. So I'm even more disgusted by him because he's covered in green slime. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you see like a little bit of the remnants on his body. He's like, "Look, I see you guys." And then he sort of like walks off. I'll see you at the day after tomorrow. Don't forget, I'll rip off your dick. Oh, uh, <laughs> harshing my buzz again, man, uh, bro. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, and he uh, like ecstatically <laughs> walks yeah. through the door. You've uh, you've done well for yourselves. Mm -hmm. Is there anything? you want to do while still in the rabbit hole. Ah, okay, let's try the bar one more time. Let's, try, let's, let's go to the bar and try their best drink. Yeah, yes. I need a drink. Right? right. right. Okay. Uh, right. right. Anything right. specifically you're looking for? Because they have, they have good old alcohol, sure. Mm. They've got anything. It's gonna cost you a little bit though. How much money do we have? You all have, uh, right now on you, you all have 10 guap. All right. So you can write that down there. Okay. Oh, this is actually our personal card. Cool. Yeah. I thought it was uh, reusable. No. Oh, so I can... Oh! <laughs> I see that after I've written on <laughs> um, These characters are... Uh, they're only for you? Okay, so, uh, so I'm uh, putting down 10 guap for their best drink. Oh, shit! Yeah. That's a lot of money oh. for me wait, and wait, my wait, friends. Uh, to put it into context, uh, like a cab ride is a third of a guap. So mm. you, are, you are paying like... Well, okay, I want... I'm going to give it all, and I'm going to give a round to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this totally fits the character, though. That's yeah, nice. Right. That's yeah. cool. That's really happy, guys. <laughs> so so you, like, you slam down the money, yeah. and the guy behind the bar is like, he's like, cleaning his drink. He's like, hey, man, what can Whoa! Uh, <laughs> send me what you want, bro. What everybody wants. It's on me. Uh, like, uh, your best uh, whiskey. He's like... Sweet. Uh, don't know what whiskey is, but oh. this sounds good. Is this and he, gonna be like hallucinogenic kind of al al He al says, like. "Girlfriend, right now it's anything you want." <laughs> yeah, yeah, so right. he grabs out. He like he takes this button and he puts it down on the bar. And he's mm -hmm. like, "So you press it, man. Press it." He press it, and immediately like the the, the room goes into overdrive. Like yeah. all the lights turn on, everything starts flashing, wall starts spinning around, and everybody's like, "Woo!" Because everybody knows this is the sign for a round of drinks. Right. right. Uh, so everybody I'm starts. Oh, everybody no. starts rushing the bar. Um, so, um, what are you looking for? What kind of vice? Uh, well, uh, a, a nice brown drink. Okay. You find uh, they they give you. Um, it's a. It, it comes from this planet, but it's mm. made of this very, this fruit that is actually radioactive. Mm. But they found a way to make it not radioactive. Mm. But it gives you this sort of crazy, uh, sort of one hour long high that will that will properly uh, like mess you up. It's completely hallucinogenic, mm. and it's uh, it's like only what the pop stars drink because nobody can afford it. Okay, I, I want it. Yeah, I reckon we should because we've done our jobs for the day. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's time to let loose. Right. And it gets everyone we need on it. our side for the parade as well. Right. Yeah. So we need all exactly. of that. Exactly. Yes. Okay. So are you going to do some promo for the for the for the party for the parade? 
Well, well, it's going to get fucked up now. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's, uh, yeah. that's a fucking tomorrow, king dress. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we do. We do. We do tell them. Yeah, you should come to the parade. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, yeah that's pro that's that's king dress job. You know, we we're just right. uh, adding on to that. Cool. So then, um, give me. Um, I want you to all to give me one uh, the, the description of one of the last sort of shot of you at this party like you know when there's a movie and sort of the last bit of the movie where you see someone you know doing their last their last grand thing what is the last thing we see you do at this party before we shut down and go to uh the parade okay. i'm doing a handstand and <laughs> taking my drink <laughs> and smiling <laughs> I feel like, so the drone's like where a disco ball would be. Mm. Just f putting some lights up there, having a lovely time. Nice. Just hanging off of him. Yeah. Just watching the world go by. Yeah. I'm just passed out because I've <laughs> done too much. I've probably had some bad trip and I'm just <laughs> lying on the floor, shaking. Mm. <laughs> all right. Uh, you all uh, barely make it back home. Like, it takes you a solid three and a half hours to get you to find your way out of this place mm. by trial and error. Um, you even have the idea that maybe King Dread is sort of aiding your uh, escape because a few of the exits and the doors are slightly too convenient to actually be true. Mm. Um, but you make it back to the annex um, and uh, you're turning in for the night. So that means uh, we're going off to skip a day and we're off to the parade. Yes. <gasps> So you've gathered the people you need uh, in order to set up a righteous, big, uh, clone, cybernetic, human, cyborg mixed parade um, marching in the direction of the Palace of Purity. So before we go to the actual start of the parade, what have your uh, characters been doing? What have you been doing um, up to uh, this day? What are the preparations you've been taking? I've been getting ready to fight. Um, I've been doing like a just constantly punching a punch bag, you know, with Zola's face on. <laughs> <laughs> she is my mortal enemy because she's human, and she, the humans, let me down. So, she, so I want to just get straight to her. I don't care about anything else. I want to be face to face with her and kill her. All right. That's not dark and broody at all. <laughs> I love it. All. I love it. I'd say I'd probably be, be like tinkering away. So you know the battering ram. I've just been adding little bits. Mm, you right. Know, some little a little hatch for me to sit in if possible. Ah, okay. Mm. So I can just sort of sit and then shoot things if need. Give be. me okay, okay. Mm. Give me a um, yeah. That's a mind roll. Let's see uh, mm. how well you understand this machine and what you can <laughs> do with it. Oh, four, four, uh, two, six. Okay, you can make some minor modifications, but you're not a atomic battering, battering ram expert. So tell me, what are, what are you hoping to accomplish? Um, to make it stronger, and also to add little like snipery bits on the side. So if okay. anyone tries to come near it, it's just like nope. Ah, right. Okay. Um, I think the first part. That is too technical, like into the actual workings of the machine. Mm. The second bit, I will, will for six, I'll grant you that you've managed to add like one sort of turret, like a sort of uh, a gun that sits on top of the machine. Mm. Like a tank. Nice. Yeah, sort of like that. Like I'll a tank it. gun. <laughs> nice. Well, of course, I've been uh, sweating a lot. I, I now have I now have six hundred syringes. <laughs> You're like sweat. sitting in, in, a, in, like in, yeah. this, uh, in a sauna. Just I have this I have this pants, you know, with these suspenders, these rubber pants, <laughs> and in there it's all filled with sweat. And um, every once in a while, because the supply of actual syringes is limited, uh, once in a while I just fill one up and use it again. Okay, uh, roll a power check because this is like right. A, this is like a very, um, this is, it's tough when your body to just like keep sweating and sweating and sweating. Uh. So you're going to deplete some shit. All right. Uh, roll for it and add your power to it. Uh, that's this one, right? Yeah. Seven, Seven and my two. power is to a nine. Okay. Uh, you used one of your syringes. 
Um, let's say you can add three more. So now you All have right. four. Oh, nice. Uh, four doses. Well, <laughs> that'll, that'll come in handy. And uh, besides that... These ones, so that's good. Yeah, so now I have four, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I've also been reading up on this crazy uh, religious uh, cult, uh, the palace uh, purity. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, I have, what, what uh, come, I've what? come to the conclusion they are not happy at all. <laughs> 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 and I have filled these uh, syringes to uh, spread the happiness. All right. Cool. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, is there anything like specifically you wanted to look up on them or is it just... Are they happy or not? <laughs> They're specifically never happy, and that's wrong. I, I, I'm, I'm all for, uh, uh, you know, freedom of thought. Right. But they're just. They're, they're, I don't care about that for now. They're okay. basically not happy. All right. Mm -hmm. So. Um, it's a problem. It's like victims. I yeah. Guess, of right. I, I feel sorry for them mm -hmm. also. Okay. Um, you're uh, gathering uh, outside of uh, Aphrodite's Annex, which is where the parade will be starting. It is a three-hour walk to the Palace of Purity, mm. um, so it will be a three-hour parade. Mm. Um, the, all the people here at the, uh, of the Annex have already, um, they're all here, uh, and you're picking up the others on the way. What is, um, how are you... Um, trying to obscure <laughs> or hide this enormous machine. What's your strategy? Well, one thing is obvious, of course. We use uh, the Father Morgana's uh, power to disguise it like uh, what is the most beautiful thing that could never ever possibly destroy us? Uh, something with flowers, I'm thinking. Oh, it's just a, a horse. It's a flowery horse. <laughs> yes, it's a flowery when unicorn. You promised there would not be horses. <laughs> Unicorns, God. Unicorn, yeah. uh, un flowery unicorns, yeah. and 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 they they don't look uh, threatening uh, threatening at all because it's it's actually a killing machine, but they don't <laughs> see it. They just see flowery unicorns. Oh, awesome. awesome. Yes. Right. Okay, a flowery unicorn. Um, yeah. What are we talking like? Stages, music. Um, Party accessories, outfits. Give me, give me everything. Give me the whole shabam. Oh, so it's probably leading. Is the horses at the front, and then yeah. just like glitter everywhere. Glitter, everywhere. pink everywhere. base colors, <laughs> pink, purple. That's it. I just disco music and everything. And genitals out. Everybody's genitals out. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like a modern ABBA. We can't have uh -huh. ABBA, but it's a new ABBA yes. playing. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so I, I like that look. It's like a uh, future disco kind of. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I see what you're getting at. Like vintage. Yeah. yeah. Vintage future disco. Okay. Yeah. Yes. This is something I want to listen to. It's right? Cool. Yeah. It's cool. Oh. Okay. Um, then I think we're ready to head on. Uh, and everyone's naked but covered in glitter. Covered in what? Glitter. But All naked. Right. Yes. And the genitals out. out. <laughs> genitals <laughs> out. So the, only the genitals are not covered in glitter. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Just nipples. They're extra clean. <laughs> All right. Um, you start off at the annex and. It is already, like, even with only you, but you knew this, like, the annex, like, the sex workers here, your colleagues, everybody at the annex, they're just, like, party people. So this immediately kicks off being just one of the greatest parties you've been at at all. Uh, mm -hmm. But it's, now it's also moving through the streets. Everybody's dancing. There's dicks and tits flying around everywhere uh, because nobody's wearing clothes. All right, guys. <laughs> um, they're... Um, uh, you, you pick up um, everybody at um, Fata Morgana's um, after, uh, after a short walk. And um, like there's a, a group of machines coming out of the building when you walk by. But it seems like they're, like they're not with a lot of people, so it's a little bit underwhelming mm. in the beginning. But then from, like, from this sort of uh, hatch in the building, they pull this sort of large um, uh, this vehicle sort of like floating uh, floating bus kind of thing mm. and when it powers up all of a sudden all of these like holographic figures so are suddenly on top of it uh, they don't have any physical form but they're mm. definitely there and 
uh, in the middle, on the top, is Fata Morgana herself, and so she's shaking that opera booty like you've never seen. Yes. <laughs> queen. Perfect. Right. Uh, oh, that brings me to the question, what place do you give Nana Mama in your parade? Where is she... Do you put oh, her She's at? like the most important. Yeah, mm. she's inside the unicorn. Inside? Inside. So she can't be seen, old. right? Because she, yeah, she'll be a target. Uh, uh, do we not want to show her off? Yeah. Oh, look at the throne. Maybe she's only her head is exposed. And they're gentle. And they're, and they're, and of course, her pink wig. Oh, God. Yeah. Look, yeah. Both. But, it, but, but I think she should also be armored. Maybe she has some face armor, so she can't be shot. You gotta look after her, she's old. Right? Mm. We can't have her die on this. Let's do it. So. I, I like the head and the genitals. Right, right, right. <laughs> Genital armor? Genital armor. No, no, they are, they're just out. There's no armor there. She can fend for herself. She's a cybernetic, so like... Yeah. She doesn't necessarily has those. Mm. She might she might uh, we'll cre them create up. them for now. We'll just for right, now. right. So uh, give what exactly are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, well she's inside the unicorn. Her head is out. Yes. It's armored. Her blonde uh I mean pink uh thing is on her head and uh she can't be hurt. Okay, uh give me a my who's who's been creating the armor, the face armor? Um, I'm very good at tinkering. Yeah. Okay, give me a uh, give me a mind roll at, and make it a favored roll. So roll two, grab the highest. Yeah, and please hit a twelve. Oh. For what is the highest number on there? Twelve. All right. Oh, Ooh. eleven. That's nice. With your mind, add Opa, to it. Uh, we, we won. Two. Got it. That's not bad. Thirteen. 13. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, it's a bit of an odd sight. It's like this this, yeah. this this metal structure with this pink wig on top of it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and she's safe. But every now and then, when you walk past the unicorn, you hear like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's like she's having a good time. Yeah, oh, right. Of course, right. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, okay. Um, at some point, uh, you're. I think you're about an hour in, so you're like you're almost at. Uh, you're now almost at the. Um, at the rabbit hole, and you, who, like, where, what are you doing during the party? Are you in the front? Are you in the middle? In the back? Like, what's your, uh, what's your six? Is that what they say? What's your mm. six? Yeah. Mm, no, what's your six? No, whatever. Yeah, that's your asshole, I think. Yeah. <laughs> your backside, I should say. <laughs> your bum. Bottom. Bottom. <laughs> I think we should be at the front. Right? Yeah. yeah, we're the. We're, it, we? yeah. we're at the front line. Mm. We're we're yeah. we're taking we're, th we're. Yes. Okay. Are you also partying, or is it more like you're the guard? I'm. Mm. I'm. Pissed off. I don't even have glitter on. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you were the one to say everybody wears glitter. Right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I never got it on. Um, I, I'm very happy, but concentrated. Uh, okay. Looking forward, seeing yeah. what's happening. And I'm on the like, horn with a drone, sort of like flying around, mm. just <laughs> yeah. watching over and like trying watching to fix our them. six. Exactly. Watching. Yeah. See, watching. See, yeah. see. All right, um, right. Okay. We're, work we're working hard. We're not invested in the party. Right. No. But there is glitter on me. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. You've got it. Of course, of course. All right. Um, you two, give me a mind roll. Three? Mm. Is it a favorable roll? Nope. <laughs> oh, not this one. Six, six and three. Okay, with my mind that is six. five. Six. Uh, six. You're yeah. right. I'm eight. Okay, Ooh, that's close. Um, you can see uh, you're in the front, and at some point you like you're like turning around and you're like sort of keeping an eye on everybody, and at some point like further down the street, like it's. Uh, Maybe like it's maybe ten twenty meters. You see these um, these two humans, and they're both wearing the same white jackets you saw before, and they're sort of tinkering with this um, this uh, street light, and they're they're unscrewing um, its um, what do you call it um, base base right, and you see them just as they're like screwing loose the last few screws, and they're toppling it over, and the thing is sort of like slowly. Yeah, Starting to fall towards the parade. What do you do? 
Oh, shit. Ooh. I know. <laughs> I'm going to use my auto restraining device. Right. Mm. To keep it still. Oh. Mm. Okay. Wow. That was not what that was used. That was not what that was used for. That? Yeah, mm. definitely. You can give it a shot. Okay. So tell me exactly what you're doing. Well, I'm picturing it like a, like a spider man thing. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot it out. <laughs> and they all just go. And then it just stays still. Nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah sure. Um, but you, so you have to attach it to something. Because it's like, it's, are you like attaching it to a building or what's the, oh, what's the idea? Okay. Because if you just like shoot it at the thing, it'll just keep falling. Yes, of course. Um, okay, so what's our surroundings? So you see... Um, well, we'll get into the rabbit hole, right? Yeah, you're getting to the rabbit hole so in a I'll bit. So I'll just attach it to that. Uh, it's not that close, but you can attach it to like a building that's... I mean, you're, you're going I through think, a street. I think, so that, yeah. Okay, yeah, you, you can find that. Okay, give me a... Um, give me a... Um, that's a nimbleness roll to see if you can hit it. Okay. Um, and it's an unfavored roll because this is a this is a pretty difficult situation. Wait, what's your Thanatos? Four. Okay, then let's make it a regular roll. Okay. I'm adding it with nimbleness. Yeah. Six. Plus. Um, one seven. Mm. So I'm that, stay up no, as well. that won't do. Mm. So like this, this thing is sort of slowly falling. Oh no! Oh, no. Yeah. Well, you just like you, you, or you shoot the thing, and it's just like shh, just, oh. just. Uh, and then at the last moment, I throw my my switchblade at it, yes. <laughs> real fast. <laughs> All right, go for it. Okay, what now? Well, what's the switchblade I'm going gonna do? It's going to hit the thing so hard it it falls right next to the grave. Okay, oh, okay. roll uh, roll me nimbleness. Let me get rid of that. Oh, yeah. A five. Mm. What's like? What is a nimbleness? Yeah. It's a seven. Yeah, you like. You, but even if you would have hit it, like it's nah. just it's this blade that you've now lost. By the way, I was hoping. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping for a twelve. You know. Yeah. So you so you throw it and just like it's just like this enormous light and it just uh, like I had to do something. Like this small knife just stumbling past. Oh you know? no. Um, I know. I use the ooze trap. Yeah. Stop it in this track. Slime. Right. So it's this huge thing. Like, if you want it, you can put slime here, but that'll just, like... Oh, I just imagine loads of slime just absorbing So much she, she, He throws it from a building, and then it stays attached to the building. Yeah, you don't have time to run up on the building before mm. this thing is coming crashing down. <gasps> oh, what's going to happen? Is there any way we can stop it? Can I keep... Can I just... You have... You have uh, I've still I'll got give you one more move. Because mm. I've still oh. got a long-distance rocket ball explosive. Can you should just, just throw it. Get rid of it. <gasps> yeah. You can get that shot. And it obliterates. Fireworks. Should have done that first, really. <laughs> okay, go for it. So yeah, this is the last move before this thing comes crashing down. Okay. Yeah, but she's, she's throwing a, a ten now, so it'll be fine. Ooh. Oh! Okay. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> a ten, an actual ten. Plus nimbleness. Eleven. Wow. Okay. Right, well, it's gone. That it's done. Do. Uh, so. Uh, Tell me, like, how does this look? What is your, uh... Um, okay, so, I'm throwing this ball, it just mm -hmm. crushes them. It all breaks, but it falls on them, two little humans, and then they die. Okay, so and you... And no one else notices in the parade, they're just partying, no one's like, even at so you <laughs> So you want to make it explode, and then I have the debris fall on them? Yes. Okay, give me... What, wait, what did you throw, an 11? Okay. Let me look this up real quick. Okay, so one of them, um, so this this ball it goes up on like into this into this uh, street light. It immediately explodes. Debris flies everywhere. You can also see like bits and pieces are like flying through windows of the buildings yeah. next to your people inside. Scream like what the fuck! Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but uh, it is obliterated. And like okay. bits of it come like raining down in this like mm -hmm. fiery uh, sort of um, uh, fireworks display, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> um, and one of them uh, gets hit by um, uh, by bits of the of the building or of the of the street light. So give me a one d eight um, damage to see how much eight. damage they take. This one's eight, right? Yeah. Okay. Eight. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so um, it blows up, and like one of them immediately starts running, um, but the other one is still like un unscrewing the last bit, 
and the moment he sort of looks up, this huge part of the thing just comes crashing oh. down, oh. and you hear like this sickening crunch as his body sort of like mm. yeah. just like yes, squish. <laughs> mm. And the other guy just like he just starts sprinting um, into this alleyway, and he disappears from view. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. So it, it, it was still in front of the of the parade, so most people don't really. Notice and for the rest, yeah. it's fireworks. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You're right. like it's just there, just partying and yeah. sitting yeah. in the mud and arbor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. fire. Save everywhere. the day again. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, now you are now joined by everybody from the um, the rabbit hole, and like if the party wasn't already crazy enough, like. These people are fucking, like, they are losing it. And they were already losing it inside, and they are now losing it outside. Mm -hmm. Like, they, they, like, you can see that some of these people, they just, like, this is the first daylight they've seen in, like, a week. <laughs> but they don't care. Just come out, they just shake it off, and immediately start going absolutely crazy. Like, half of the people here is already naked. Um, and they uh, just party like it's no one's business. Uh, and you can see, like, um, whereas... Um, uh, Fata Morgana is like really on top of this of, of the of the um, uh, vehicle mm -hmm. that the uh, that they brought here. Uh, King Dread just he comes out last, like locks up the door of the club, and, like, <laughs> and just like starts slowly walking with the with the crowd, and he's sort of like scanning, seeing if he can find you. Obviously. Mm -hmm. Um. So this now you have like the parade in full, and it is. Glorious, like it is exactly what you needed. There's no way, um, even if you, even if you knew there was something going on, there was no way you could even see that what was going on. Right. So um, I want to give you all the opportunity to rally the crowd, like once more, even further. What is the thing that you do per person to really get this party cracking? And you know, like, think about the, your strengths. What's your character good at? Like, what can you use? To, to make uh, it more fun. Yeah, or to... bring to, more of an atmosphere. To make an atmosphere, or maybe to, you know, have, like, create this... To create a big moment, or anything you want. I reckon that, that um, King Dread comes over. Now I think I've started to get a soft spot for him. But I don't want anyone to know. <laughs> but you see a little smile, that's yeah. it. And then I'm like, and we're having a little chat. And then I'm like, oh, no, no, no. And then I think we kiss. <gasps> Oh, wow, that is a great moment. Yeah, that is a nice moment. <laughs> so wow. you know, you, there is no need, no need to roll for this because he's in. Yeah, uh, it's just a nice little moment, man. Yeah. yeah, you thought little, but nah. <laughs> <laughs> everybody uh, that everybody around you, like, because everybody from the annex knows you. Everybody from the rabbit hole knows dread. Mm. So Power this, couple. Oh, yeah. Right. So right, this is right. fucking like to them, this is crazy. So yeah. everybody like they're they're standing around in a circle, slowly moving circle. Mm. And uh, as soon as you it's like and everybody's like, Woo! And everybody's yeah. like, oh, really? It really combines right. everybody. Right. It's beautiful, really. It's, it's like You're that, crying. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say I'm being the drone right now. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, this is exactly what the what this parade was meant for, you know? Aww. Celebrate this. I finally found love again. Right, right, right. Aww. Aww, so so anything you, you guys want to do? Happy, happy drug. No, That's no, I have no... Uh, only the, the people who seem slightly not convinced yet, I talk to, like, come on, be honest. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, people are having... Uh, yeah, maybe you feel like... Uh, you feel like this is one of the few times that you get everybody. Yeah. Because everybody's like, yes, yes, yes. You've not right. had to work for it. It's I'm not cool. working. Oh, this is my dream come true. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's happy. Everybody's together. There's no, uh, no discrimination. Right. And that's where what we're going to fight in the end. Cool. Yeah. So uh, keep in mind that um, only the people from the annex and maybe a select mm. few of uh, Fata Morgana's inside uh, people know about what's gonna happen. For yeah. example, nobody from the uh, rabbit hole knows because you didn't tell them. No, but but I mean now that they have kissed, King Dread is uh, probably will do anything yeah. for her. Yeah. <laughs> There's so. a good chance. Yeah. There's yeah. a good chance. Yeah. Uh, 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 we are one now. Yeah. So uh, Bonnie. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I say, alright, it's all happening. 
<laughs> what's going on? It's all romantic. But like, I feel like mine it has a little cry. But also, since the drawn up to see what the heck's going on over you, over here. Oh, so yeah. you're a little someone's bit got to carry on working. Right, right. We're right. all getting. Softy and that. Exactly. Right. It's not even me, it's the drone. But I'm still right. gonna yes. send it. You're still mm. <laughs> You're, uh, Give me feedback. <laughs> yeah. You can you can uh, when you fly up you see that um, in about two hundred meters or so there's a, a roadblock by mm. uh, local enforcement. So you can see like a few vehicles and you see a lot of sort of like people in armor sort of waiting, like they it seems like they know you're coming. And they're not from the from the palace per se. Oh. But um, you know, local enforcement is e is easy to to hire. So, mm. Mm. so do we not know where they've come from? No. We don't know who they but are. But they are Mystery probably people. hired by the palace. Could be. Mm. I'm not sure. Mm. Are they a threat? Or do Sorry? we not, Do we know that they're a threat? Oh, you you only know that there's a few uh, vehicles and armored men standing uh, 200 meters from you, but you can't really you don't okay. know. That. I'd say send you in first to sort of like gauge right. the situation. Yes, I'm going in to talk. Okay. Well, I think you should leave me in my bubble for a moment. Right, right, you deserve it. I'm still crying. Right. You go for a kill. Okay. Right, I'm just, I'm maybe they're friendly. Mm. We don't know yet. Yes. No. Um, <laughs> little chance, but... You see uh, a few uh, vehicles and they have like these, um, these lights on top and... Uh, they're just standing still. They're all uh, they're all cybernetics. Mm. And um, roll a mind roll for me. All right. Let's see if you know who these guys are. Ah. Seven. Yeah, seven, I think. Huh? Plus seven plus three, three is ten. ten. Okay. Yeah, you know these guys. They're uh, they're like a lo local uh, enforcement agency, mm -hmm. and everybody hires them. You know, either to uh, provide security for their parties, you know, or to eat, or to you know protect them from their uh, maybe their competition, right. or sometimes also to you know act out on vengeful actions or. Mm. So they're not per se bad guys, but they're just gu broad. guns it's guns for hire. Yeah. yeah, right. Okay, so what do they do? I I tell them uh, don't do this, guys. Come on, be, don't worry, be happy. <clears throat> they say. Um, um, so it's about it. it's about it's about <laughs> like twenty guys. Okay. And uh, the guy standing in front, he uh, says, "I'm sorry, this is just a job, nothing personal." Mm. Are you happy? Is my are you happy? I don't see how that's relevant. Are you the leader of all these people? I'm the commander. Yes. So if I convince you to move out of the way, uh, you'll leave. I guess technically you're right, but I don't. And then I hit him with a syringe. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, yes, give yes. me um that is Ooh. Yeah, okay, give me a strength roll and roll it with favor. It's 11. <gasps> oh, give me another one. Let's see if you can make it an overload. No, and another oh, one. Oh. Okay, so it doesn't matter plus your power. Sorry, not strength power. Uh, what does it 13? Well, okay, there you like, go. Oh, nice. Well, I guess that's true, but I don't see how that's just yeah. like stabbing. <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, so this stuff also works on uh, cybernetics, weirdly enough. Mm. Um, and his, uh, you can see sort of like you hear all of these little bits inside his body just go like, mm -hmm. mm. you know, everything starts whirring up. Right. And um, like all the lights in his body just like just turn on, and mm. he's like. Wow, that's look. That looks amazing. What are you? What's happening over there? And he's like looking at the parade. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, uh, I explained to him, this is your dream come true. This is all the happiness in the world. We came especially here to show it to you. But you did this all just for me. It's all for you. But wow. But we can't. <laughs> we can't stay here for too long right. because I think some other people deserve this uh, to see this beauty. Uh, uh, as well, so you should let us pass. I totally get that, but I have a job, and I, I mean, I love you, obviously, mm, but right. I have a job. Right. Um, what am I, and he's, he's sort of, uh, he's confused, and the men behind him are like, uh, sir, what's, what's, <laughs> what's going on? Uh, so it's, oh, of course it's only him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I, I know you have a job, but you should just, you can come right back. We only need like 10 minutes to pass. Right. And then you can close up the street again. What? So you will you you will be still doing your job, only not these ten minutes. Wow. And if so, That's actually right? a pretty good idea. Right. I guess we could all use a break, right, guys? Right. Like, uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Uh, what are you What are you parading for? Uh, love, love and happiness and peace. God damn it, boys! We're wrapping this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and he's like, uh, everybody move away, and and you see the confusion in the other in the other guy's eyes, but they're it's just a job. They don't care. So they, everybody moves out of the way. Perfect. Um, and you're allowed to pass. Yes. Yay! Nice. Yes. Happiness. Yeah. <laughs> um, now let's kill some people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, you pass. Um, you pass the uh, the guards, and immediately after you pass, they sort of close back up. And when yeah. you look back, you see the commander, and he's like looking at the parade, he's like. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, bobbing his head to yeah. the what was it? Sci-fi space Abba uh, Vintage Future Vintage Disco. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, and um, you know uh, that it's now uh, only like ten more minutes to um, to the palace. Mm. So you're almost there. Um, so there's a lot of people here, and you're not sure what's going to happen, but it might not be safe. Mm. Um, it might be. But so you don't know, and also you you don't have a, like you don't really have a great idea of how well these people can defend themselves. And so what do you want? Like what are you doing with the crowd? Are you just bringing them there? Do you want to? What's your what's your idea? Yeah, I, I think we should all bring them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't we're know. Risking a lot of lives. Yeah, so. but what's more important, uh, all these lives or our future? <laughs> <laughs> Power in numbers. We just need to destroy, yeah. totally annihilate the palace of purity, and there, are, yeah, there's bound to be some collateral damage. But hey, yeah. the more, the more the merrier. Right? Yeah, we need, we need everyone in. Maybe, maybe give them a little, a little bit of uh, happy drugs before they go in, but uh, they'll die happy at least if they die. Yeah, but you've only got four. Mm, no, I got three now. Three. But um, yeah, okay, well. Just let, let them die well, anyway. Well, we're already pretty, <laughs> pretty, pretty <laughs> yeah. happy anyway. Right? right. Yeah, yeah we're all go we'll go in it. It's for the future, for, for their children, mm. not for themselves. Let's go straight into it. You're Let's bringing see. them all? Yeah. 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 All right. The party keeps... Uh, this is the, like this party is like a freight train, both uh, physically but also uh, uh, metaphorically. People have shown no sign of stopping, and um, when you start slowing down, coming towards the building, you see people are starting to get a little bit confused. Like, where are we going? What's what's? But the why why should why would we slow down? Why why wouldn't we just ram ram the building? You want to go straight into it? Yeah. Well, so so there's there's this this okay. Let me describe yeah. the building to you. Yeah. It's like this. Uh, it's a large. It's like phallic uh, building. Mm. Sort of, of tower course. thing. Uh, it's got silver ornaments on it, um, among which is like at the top is the the logo of the sun with the eye inside. Mm. Um, the the peak of the the building is sort of uh, angularly shaped, and embedded in the tower is this huge uh, human sort of stone, you know, sort of hewn out stone uh, oh. figure. Wow. Um, uh, the entrance is like church like, it's this sort of arch with a, with a um, uh, balcony above it, um, and the whole like. It's beautiful, but it also looks completely ridiculous because, in, especially in the setting here in the red rain, no building looks like this. Like it's yeah. all like yeah. a little bit shabby, but it, that's it. that's the charm of it. And this is the, like it it stands out like yeah. way too much. Yeah. Uh, and it's got this so this blue sort of shimmering force field around it, which is what your um, battering ram is supposed to be breaking. Mm -hmm. um, and sort of the the um, when you when you come near. Uh, you see a figure stepping out on the uh, on the balcony, and uh, you recognize her as uh, a Zola. <gasps> she's uh, a, a human woman, um, very sort of um, what? Well, yeah, she's like really thin, and she has this very um, angular face, sort of angry, mm. angry features, and um, her voice is like being projected through or being echoed through these speakers, and she says. Uh, you're not welcome here. This is a place only for those pure of thought and pure of flesh. Mm. Don't, th don't you think it's time to stop this ridiculous display of yours? 
deep down you know you're all wrong you do not understand love you do not understand the meaning of this word you abuse it for your own these filthy little parties of yours this is exactly what we mean well she's saying all that mm. i put on my invisibility cloak mm. go in like the side <clears throat> with my lock p picking tools and try and get into it so there, are the, the force field is still around the building. Oh, force, oh shit. Mm, how do we break the force field? That's what you need, the machine for. The, 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 the battering ram destroys the force field. Yes. Okay. And, and so if we destroy the force field, we've won. Well, if you destroy the force field, then you're able to like get into the building. Yeah, but basically then we use the battering ram and our, all our weapons to... to uh, mm. all right. The battering ram is to get in, and then our weapons are to... Uh, well, I think we should just use the battering ram then, yeah. huh? yeah. right? On the force field, we need the force field gone. Okay. And then you do your little scribbly thing going there. Scuttle right in. Uh, uh, right automatically in. let go. Yeah. Oh. oh! People around you are like, <gasps> <gasps> what's going on? <laughs> yeah. He's Seeing like, what? <laughs> we finally met. His like his uh, his LED display uh, shows two hearts where his eyes are supposed to be. Yeah. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Perfect. Um, he, uh, so I think you're the one to activate the, uh, uh, the battering around the mm -hmm. machine. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, <coughs> uh, uh, I put a little helmet on, what's it called? What's the name? I forgot her name. Nana Mama. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Nana Mama. Oh, she's still in the thing. Yeah, yeah. so I put a little helmet on her. On like, the top of the wig. Give her a little pat. Yeah. Give her a in, yeah. <laughs> Me on the drum. Yeah. <laughs> and then... Shit starts. So we like it just start ramming. Yeah, okay. So I get it all geared up and reverse a little bit. And then it just whacks into the okay. Yeah, as soon as you hit it, like the head of this machine is it's like this glowing sort of point, almost like uh, the tip of a rocket. Mm. And as soon as it hits um the um, the force field, this sort of wave emits from it and it just bursts like out like out from everywhere so a lot of people you see them sort of like being blasted back a little bit uh -huh. but you see these sort of cracks sort of going through the entire uh, force field perfect and then while it sort of arches back you see the whole thing just sort of <laughs> just uh, yeah. immediately sort of disappearing from the building and yes. you see Zola and she's like ah it's gonna be like that then will it and you see her disappear inside and for like five seconds it's silent like mm. she disappears the people at the party are completely confused because they have no idea what's going on and all of a sudden you hear this low rumbling sound this sort of sound of rock and metal moving mm. and you look up and you see that the huge figure in uh, that was embedded in the building, sort of like, <gasps> oh, oh no, no. <laughs> coming loose, and he, it sort of jumps out of uh, the the crevice in the in the wall, and it <laughs> it's, oh, it no. lands on the ground, and he and it says, uh, "We fight now, so we're gonna roll some." Aggression rolls. All right. Uh, you've all slept, by the way, uh, last night, so your uh, libido is all back to uh, mm. maximum. And mm -hmm. now we're going to have sex with the stone uh, yeah, man. Yeah, screw yes. this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so give all, all of you, give me a aggression roll. So that is uh, um, uh, d12 and add your Thanatos to it. Eight and um, four. So 12. Ooh, not bad. Yep. 7 and 3 is 10. Not bad either. Mm. Oh, he's so going down. 5, Five. and 2 is 7. Okay. Not as much anger. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit tired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long day. <laughs> okay, uh, it's his turn first. Which one, me? No, it's the, 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 the huge. The huge oh, human machine guy. guy, the scary guy. That's so strange because they only support the humans and now they have a robot of themselves. Mm. Mm. It but is they a bit. use mm. it. Yeah, uh, you know, abuse it. Exactly, no mm. respect. No respect. Um, yeah, but you also know, like, this is, this is, uh, this is almost more like a robot. Like, it's, it's not, like, it, it, it doesn't compare to, for example, your, uh, right. Oh, it doesn't really yeah, think. Right. It's, it's just a machine. But, 
then again, that's debatable. Mm. Mm. Um, okay. He, like, he jumps down, you, you feel the earth sort of trembling, and the people behind you, they're scared, but also pissed, because they, sort of, they know this place, they know who these people are. And we kind of trick them to come. They're, like, they're, they're not running away, but you feel like if you want them to stay or to help you, you're going to need to do something, make a gesture or you know, something to convince them. But first, it's the, it's the big guy. He jumps down and he, um, what is your, like, how are you, what's your order? Where are you standing? You were, I, I think you were like flying in, right? So I'm on the drone. Yeah, because I can now. So yeah. I'm on the drone, flying, trying to get to the head of it. Okay. And then where are you? I'm standing in front of it, trying to talk to it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm standing, well, I guess I'm standing near you. I'm, can I do something now? Not yet. Mm-hmm. I just want to know where, where you I are. Am. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll be with you. Yeah. Okay. We're standing right in front. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. He's going to. Um, then he's just gonna try to whack you out of the air because you're like you're like a fly. Uh, mm-hmm. Well, he's not that big. I mean, he's like uh, three meters high or something. Oh, okay. Manageable. Um, <laughs> and he's sort of like trying to trying to swat you out of the air. Uh, could you give me your shield value? Um, seven. Okay, so that's a hit. One damage. So um, his um, he has like these arms, but they're sort of semi de- semi detached. Mm-hmm. So he can like wave them around, you know, like this. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> a little windmill. Yeah. Oh, so no. he, he does that, and he's sort of like trying to whack you out of the air, and he sort of scrapes you by the side, uh, and you take one uh, damage or libido. Libido. Mm. Oh. Um. Then one seven five. It's your, it's your turn. Okay, I'm gonna use. I've got another long distance rocket ball explosive. Yes. I'm gonna has to be has to be used. Wow. Um, I'm gonna go and throw it. At, so is he still whipping his arm yeah. around? Yeah. Mm. Um, I'll go for his arm that is is whipping around. Cool. And throw it at that. Okay, you're trying. So you're trying to blast off one of his arms. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The one he's trying to use. Yeah. Makes sense. Like go that. for it. And add your nimbleness. Eight. Eight and one nine. Yeah, that will do. Nice. nice. Yes. Okay, then roll damage, which was a one d ten, I think. Yeah, ten is uh, this one. I'm sure if you have that one over there. Let's have a look. Oh, I don't have that you one. Use mine. Yeah. Five. Okay. Um, with a five, you don't you don't manage to blast off one of his arms. But uh, the swing stops. Okay. So you, yeah. So you, um, you throw this like he's sort of like doing like <laughs> pivoting like this a little bit while waving his arms, and you manage mm-hmm. to hit it exactly like in one of his arm as he's going down, and it's sort of and he stops spinning it around. Right. Cool, Smiler. Yeah, what will I do? Do I throw something? Yeah, I want to talk to it. I want to convince it. <laughs> I'm talking to it. <laughs> I'm saying. Listen to me, big guy. <laughs> Do you know what's going on right now? We are your people. Fighting. We are your people. Can you please, are, can, are, you, are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Yes. Well, you shouldn't do this because you are fighting your own people. Why stop it? I have no people. I have Destroy. No people. Okay, well... Well then, uh, I don't have any weapons, so I don't know what to do. You feel like you can try to influence the crowd. Okay, guys, let's go kill this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, yeah, want... let's attack. I'm taking everybody with me. You want to uh, coax them in, or you want to yeah. uh, convince them to join the the battle? Yeah. Sick. Okay. With all their guns and all their uh, roll one d twelve. Add mind. Uh, but this is going to be a fairly high roll because yes, it yeah, is. it's pretty dangerous. Oh. Ooh, yeah, roll oh. that one again. Okay. Same one? Six. I think so. Huh? Six yes. and three. I'm at nine. That's a nine. Oh. Yeah. All right. Um, they don't start fighting, but you see a few people like coming from the back and they're like walking up yeah. to you and they're like, ready to fight. Oh, let's do this, man. Mm. Screw these guys. Right. I'm in. Screw right. it. 
And like some of them are like completely high, but they're like, yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which guy are we fighting? Uh, <laughs> so you feel like, uh, you know, maybe um, one more sort of like big gesture, one more sort of... Um, I, I will try to talk to it again. Okay, if you don't listen to me, yeah, it's going to be your next turn. Okay. Um, Benny. Uh, sorry, not Benny. Bonnie. Bonnie. <laughs> Close. I'll take it. I'll yeah. accept. <laughs> Benny can be the drone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Benny and Bonnie. <laughs> Unstoppable. Um, what I'm going to do is use the gun on the drone. Right. So the arm that was hitting me stopped now, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So they're just motionless on that yeah. side. I'm going to stay on that side, use the drone, and shoot at the head. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Shoot at the head. We tried you the reason. All <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. That's true. For the violence. Okay, true. shoot him in the face. Yes. Uh, roll a d12. Add your nimbleness. Wow. This is going to be very high as well. One. Oh, a one! Oh, that's nimble a, as four! That's another wreck. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, this is going to be sad. No. The drone flies up <gasps> to the... Um, no. uh, like, you're, you're hanging on to the drone, and it's flying up to uh, the face, but the, the robot, it turns around, and right, at, right as you're like, trying to shoot it, it whacks the drone, <gasps> and you go, you go tumbling down. Um, and you see like a bit of smoke coming off it, and you hear like. Oh <gasps> no, not Bennett! Too soon! <laughs> just, just named him! <laughs> and he, he says something like, I really love the party yesterday. Uh, it's like you want to see me cry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but you know, you've been through some shit together. You, you always fix him up. But uh, you can repair him. Yeah, but he's uh, he's out of the running for now. Mm. Oh, Benny, boo. Oh, Benny. All right, then um, it's his turn again, and he um, uh, or the machine guy, mm. and he uh, he's like swatting swatting <laughs> off uh, the uh, the drone. Uh, meanwhile, he's getting blasted, um, and he sort of like. He opens up his, his mouth, but he's not opening up only the mouth, but he opens up like his sort of entire skull just sort of opens up. Wow. And this white light emerges from it, and it's like this blast goes like shh. This sort of white light just zaps across all of you. Oh no. Um, and he's. Oh, no. So give me your shield values, please. Seven. Eight. Seven. We hit you all. Oh, can wow. you not? And you all take. Four, uh, four um, electricity damage. So this sort of ray of electricity sort of like it zaps across the field, oh, no. and you're all, um, yeah, you're all electro, or what do you call it? electrocuted by him. So you take off all libido. Yeah, so you take four off your libido. But then I have minus. Oh no, 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 that's we, we, we no, yeah, back four. To full health. Yeah, yeah, you were back to full. I'm on to full. Uh, and then sort of his his head snaps back shut, and he says, wow. "How'd you like that talk?" Uh oh No. One seven five. I don't know. It's hard now because I've run out of my my explosives. Right. Okay. I've got. Mm, right, I've got my auto restraining device. So I think I should use it because this this guy's this guy's big. Yeah. Um. So I'll shoot him. Shh. <laughs> no copyright. Um, uh, I'll shoot him and hopefully he will just stay frozen for a bit of time so we can, so everybody else can start. Cool. Give it a him. shot. Uh, give me, um, yeah, roll me a d12, add your nimbleness, so nimbleness roll. Oh. Four plus? Four and um. one, five. No, that mm. won't do. No. Oh, we're being eaten alive. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to get killed by a stone monster. I didn't even expect this guy. Oh. Um, yeah, so you toss the thing and it sort of hits the wall of the building. You see like, this sort of this stuff that was supposed to freeze this guy, but it's just now wasted on a building wall. I've become weak now I'm in love. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's it. That's I'm it. distracted. Yeah. Tyler, you're up. I'm just gonna hit him with some blinding flashes so that he you doesn't. Still got the, you still got the people you're rallying up. Okay, I'm going to tell all well, you the people. Could, you can also, like, you I can do it both. 
I'm going to tell the people, okay guys, I'm going to hit him with some blinding flashes, and then you just climb him and hurt him anywhere. All right, okay. So he can't hit you back. Okay, let's... So nobody has to be scared. Let's Could you pick anyone individual in the crowd to do something? You can, yeah, if you want to. You okay. can like, look for a certain person. Time. Then we're yeah. taking the biggest people. The okay. strongest and roll biggest. Roll me, because uh, you're, you're yelling this at the crowd, right? Yes. Okay, so give me a mind roll. Nine. Opa, plus nine plus three is twelve. Hey, you. Okay, that's, right. that's, that's good. Yes. Um, so, you... You're yelling at the people, and you, you've already gathered a few uh, by your side. Uh. And while you're saying this... Um, from the crowd emerge two people, and you've seen them before because mm. you rescued them yeah. two days ago. Mm. Great. And they they're standing by your side, and they're yeah. like they grab you by the shoulder, and they say, "Yes, score." Roll me, uh, roll for the flash. Uh, no, wait, you don't have to uh. roll for that. That, that just uh. works. He needs to roll uh, to see if he can withstand it. Nope, that's a two. Okay. Um, plus, yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, that works. Yes. So you like where does your flash come from? How is it? Uh, it's a little ball, a little Pokemon ball type of stuff, <laughs> and I just throw it, and then it just opens like 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 that thing does, and then uh, yeah, he looks at it and he's just yeah. blinded. Okay, yeah. yeah. So it works, um, yeah. and he's like he ch he's blinded, and he starts like he stops waving his arms around because he's like t -t 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 hitting himself in the face with it, and he's just yeah. like he stops and he just wobbles around a little bit. And that's when the people just start storming yes. uh, the garden. Both time. Um, yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna let you all roll uh, one power check for a part of the crowd. Oh, Thank you. Good. Is this yeah. for me? Uh, but you're not adding your own power to it. You're adding the power of the crowd, which is three. Six. This is nine. Six. Oh. One. That's too bad. Yeah. No. Five plus plus three. That's an eight. So we've got a one. A nine and an eight. Okay, um, so at your right, you see some people, and they're running into a they're, they're running toward the guy, but they start stumbling over each other and just like poof, they just oh, face plant into the grass. Oh no! And they like few people start tram trampling each other, but they sort of like they grab each other, and uh, they're all right, but they're sort of out of the game. Um, then on your left, you see this group of people, and they're um, they're uh, led by this group of uh, cybernetics by uh, by the people uh, from uh, Fata Morgana's place, mm -hmm. and they just start storming this um, this beast, and they like like a few of them are holding one of its legs, and the others are just like like they're whacking it with everything they've got, yeah. and the other group of people is these completely like tweaked out druggy like well, they have no idea what's going on but they're they're going at it like you see one guy just sort of like climbing up on its back and just sort of like tearing at its at its head <laughs> um so you've got a lot of people now sort of obstructing this guy so we're going to do another round of uh combat he does not get one and you get favored rolls on everything now because he is pretty much screwed Yes. yes. So we're going to uh, where we were at Bonnie. Right. Bonnie's turn. So what do you want to do? I am going. Hmm. Uh, but well, oh, I don't. Want, actually, no, I don't have a, a limited amount of the gun use. Well, I mean, so. the, the the drone is down. Oh, sugar um, lamp. Oh, oh Benny. God, I forgot. It's like he's. Here. Yeah. <laughs> His presence. But you, if you want, you can like remove the gun and use it yourself. Yeah, mm. I'm gonna have to. Uh, okay. Like pull it off. Oh, oh my It's like All ripping right, off his dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. His favorite part. Well, I'm gonna use the gun. Yeah. So uh, roll a uh, roll uh, a nimbleness check and uh, roll it with favor. So roll twice and take the highest one. Ooh. Eight. eight, so eight and four, twelve, oh, five, so yeah, yeah twelve. You already managed to hit him. Okay, so roll damage for it. Ooh, which one? This one? It's 1d4 in this case, so, yeah. Yeah. Three. Three, okay. All right, yeah, he's starting to look pretty, uh, pretty messed up. Good. But we're not there yet. One, seven, five. Um, I'm just going to have to use my rocket ball back. 
Right. So the head is the head still moving? I want to pull no, the, that. No, the head the head is closed. I uh, want to pull that top bit off. Okay, so you so can try head. your if you want to try to climb up uh, on his back and sort of pull at his head. Mm. You're going to roll a uh, power check first to see if you manage to climb up, and then another power check to see okay, if you can rip his head off. Okay. Uh, so you get a favor, so you roll twice, grab the highest one. This is for the climbing first. Oh! oh so great. Ooh, okay, yeah. climbing is done. <laughs> yeah, so uh, <laughs> how does it look when uh, when 175 climbs effortly, uh, effortlessly on the, uh, on the back of a huge stone metal robot human thing? Thing. <laughs> creature. My old dog's sick. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then um, what's his name? King Dredd's just there, like, wow, she's so amazing. But, <laughs> um, <laughs> right, yeah, so I'm right on the, I'm right on the back. And of he's like head. drooling by the side, like, yeah. <laughs> I'm totally made out with her. It's the most badass moment to date. Um, yeah. Right, so I'm up there. Um, I feel like I am strong, but I don't think I'm strong enough to just rip it off. Because this is a big... Yeah, but like you can see, like, even if you don't manage to rip it off, you can still do damage while, like... But you can... Oh, I'll just... Yeah, but I can use my... I'll use my rocket ball, but... Okay, so you want to... just, like, grab him and then <laughs> go for it, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, then give me another, um, another power roll and roll with favor. Oh, I'll get another one, though. Yeah. Okay, now it's going to be a 12 again. Oh! oh, that's a shame. oh so that's what is a, happening? A 3 plus? I can't embarrass myself like that. Oh, oh, it's the love. love. What, a 3 no. plus? It's 3 plus... Oh, what am I adding again, sorry? Power. Power, 3 plus 4. That's a 7. That's enough. Mm. Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> let's, uh. let's, let's. So, yeah, so it's like, you climb up, but you're, you're out of breath for like a second. So you, you manage to hit him, but it's like, it takes all the effort you have, uh, but I think you like Dread is giving you a little bit of uh, a little bit of like he's he's looking at you the whole time, so maybe that invigorates you. Mm -hmm. So roll for damage. Give me a one d eight. Okay, now let's throw throw the killing bro blow. Yeah, is that right? this one. Yeah, they're the That's same. Right? I think those. Oh, two. I've got yeah. two. Yeah. <laughs> Eight. All right. <laughs> so Sick. yeah, that is solid. So you um, you whack it in the head. Yeah. You like you expose part of his sort of mechanical insides, and the moment you do it, he's like he, he drops to his knees, yes. and he's he's like he's barely conscious. He's still there, and as he's sitting sort of on the ground on his knees, all of the people from the party they just like run into the field and they, they like jump him and just start ripping out all of these. Mechanical parts, Perfect. and um, that is the end of Robot Human Awful Dude Man. Yes. Yay! Woo, score. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah. Nice job. Yeah. Finally got that. Yeah. Oh, wow. I thought he would never die. We love um, some men. And um, the rest of the party just runs into the palace, mm -hmm. and as soon as they come running in, like they're not hurting the people inside, but they're like just chewing them out of the building, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and everybody's just like running out, and you see like half-naked humans sort of like trying to covering them, trying to cover themselves up, which is ridiculous because you're all naked, so it doesn't really matter. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, <laughs> Genitals out. <there>. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and they're like they they're like scurrying away. Um, and um, the one remaining inside is uh, Zola, and she's standing inside of the building, and she's like, she's pissed. Um, so you three walk up, and she's standing there, and she's like, well, I guess this is the end then, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Now what? I throw a syringe at her. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stop it, right? Okay, <laughs> give me a nimbleness roll. Eight. Eight. Yeah, plus. Eight plus uh, two is ten. Yeah, you hit it right in the face. Yeah. <laughs> now you are going to be happy. <laughs> yeah. It goes in the face, so it goes straight into her brain. Right, yeah. right. And I walk up to her and s slowly push the oh. sheriff. Oh. <laughs> She's like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Um, and uh, as soon as like the, the syringe sort of 
plop pops out of her yeah, head. Yeah, yeah. Um, she um, she immediate like her whole um, mannerisms completely change. Right. And she's looking at you. She's like. Yeah, that looks good, and she just rips off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> genitals out. Yeah, and this is about the time that everybody um, starts pouring into the palace, mm. and uh, within like it's impressive, like within fifteen minutes, ten minutes, this entire place has been turned into like a like a goddamn club. So everybody's just <laughs> now partying here, uh, and it's a big building, so the entire uh, the entire parade fits in here. Um, so we're gonna do uh, what we did in um, in the rabbit hole one more time. Mm. Give me the last scene we see of you three at this party. The one thing that will echo into the ages of partying in the red ring. I'm having sex with Solo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right. <laughs> I'm, show, I'm showing her what real sex is. <laughs> uh, uh, she's she's hesitant. Wait, what what race are you? Uh, I'm a clone. Oh, that's wait, that's not happening. Nope. Yeah, but she's so uh, hot. Yeah, no, even she's, then. Yeah, but no, oh. she, she, I, I, I'm teaching. She never knew sex before. Yeah, but she knew human sex. Then she was happy. She had a moment where she didn't realize. Also, it's gonna, it's gonna uh, fade away, isn't it? Okay, that's, no. that's yeah. gonna just her forever. Right, but that that would make this. I still have two syringes left. She's like she uh, mm. she's she's tolerating being at this party, which is mm. extreme happiness yeah, for her. Yeah. Uh, okay, then maybe I'm just uh, calling her like a little baby with my big arms, <laughs> yeah. like that, it'll be all right. That, Don't worry. That that she kind of likes. Yeah, and right. she she's like uh, she's, she's like warm she's laying too, yeah, yeah right. she's laying in your arms, and she uh, she's like touching your metallic parts, and she says. Yeah. So strong. Oh, <laughs> my, my cyber nipples are, are, are so, are so uh, t I don't know, sensitive, yes. <laughs> but thank, thank you, Zola, for she touching says, me. Uh, thank you. Mm. Oh, is there no. love in the air? I reckon that I'm, I'm finally got my moment face to face with her. Mm. And I go over, so angry, so, so much anger. Then King Dread goes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need to do it. And we look in each other's eyes. And I realise yeah. that revenge is not the answer. It's true. <sighs> it's true. Yeah. 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 And then we just we just I walk away holding his hand and realise and just leave you. Just yeah. me cut me. And you, you walk away uh, together and he's like where are we again? <laughs> 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 Bonnie. Yeah. I'm cradling Benny. Oh. And I'm like, but obviously, because I've got all these, like, I'm, I'm so sneaky mm. and handy. I've got all these tools on my hand. You're mm. fixing him. So I'm fixing mm. him slowly. Right. And all the other, like, robots and what's called cybernetic <gasps> men oh, are giving me together. pieces. They're giving up their uh, internal. To help yeah. Yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, you know, if they want to. Mm. And then, <laughs> more folks said. And then, suddenly, I just hear a little. <gasps> it comes alive. And. Um, a little tear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like he wakes, he, uh, yeah. he wakes up slowly, and then he hears the music, and he's like, mm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. and then you all just start dancing again. Yeah, I think the last thing we see is Benny going back up, knocking down the disco ball from the ceiling, blasting out his own lights. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And that's all oh. the perfect, 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 oh. perfect, great, oh. very great story. Okay, guys, this was. Um, Amazing, I hope you enjoyed yourself. Yeah. I, I now want to see the blockbuster uh, <laughs> yeah. about the story. Yeah. Yes. We'll right. make a movie, movie of it. Copyright, yeah. copyright, copyright. Right, right, <laughs> right, right. Uh, I would like to thank all of you for playing. I, uh, this was a great session. Uh, and I would like to thank you all for watching. Um, <laughs> we'll see you next time on another adventure of Thanatos. Thank Woo! you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. I didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I did. I was kind of scared before I started because I never played and I thought, uh, what am I going to say? Oh, I totally got lost in the game. I was a bit apprehensive to begin with, like before doing the game, it's like, 
will I be able to get you know fully get lost in it? But it's the story behind it. You just get swept off your feet. It was I think it was different from the other sessions that it got way more touchy feely, way more mushy. But that was a welcome change from I don't know people just swinging around their huge dicks all the time. I must say, I, I was I, I f found the the happy drugs I had very useful. I think I had a couple of great moments uh, convincing people. I don't know, I really enjoyed it. I feel a bit sad that it's over. I'd love to do it again. I think it was, I think the I think the ending, I think they, they did a great job with creating this huge climax all by themselves with like with the people, um, with the people joining in. Um, I definitely have them all at the table once more. And we did it, man. We saved the we saved the day. We destroyed the the Zola and her religious palace of purity, which is of course total nonsense to have. I didn't expect to get so emotionally attached to my character. I actually feel a little bit disorientated now. I don't know how I'm gonna go on as Molly McGuinness. I think I am now 175. Yeah, I'm into it now. This is my life. I am Bonnie and Benny. This is my life. <laughs>